Okay, we are live right now. Okay. Okay. Put this up on Twitter here. Okay. Hello, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great day today. Okay. Okay. So, doing a crazy stream today. Um, I am going for uh, seeing if I can hit five hundred thousand dollars in uh, in taxi fares. So it's gonna be a bit of a crazy stream. Thank you, uh, Surreal. Okay, so we gotta get up to $500,000, which is gonna be an insane amount of fares. Um, yeah. I know this city pretty well, so I know where a lot of the shortcuts are and the best routes to take. So I wonder how long I'm gonna take. It's gonna take a bit of time. It's gonna take hundreds of fares. This is going to take forever. Oh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but uh, we'll have fun, and I'll answer any questions people have, and yeah, sorry for the delay in the lore video, guys. It will be up later this week. I've just been so busy, and just my sleeping schedule is so messed up right now. $1,085. I gotta pick up not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Your health is more important. Well, thank you. Yeah, the, the streams are always videos afterwards. The Last of Us walkthrough. Thank you, Oblivion. One day I'll do one probably on it. Thank you, uh, Das, for subscribing. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty long stream, probably. Um, thank you, new Kyle, for um, subscribing. Hey, pro, tomorrow uh, it's my 15th birthday, and I hope Rockstar responds to the exploits on PC and have a great stream. Well, thank you, Dark Revan. Happy, happy birthday, man. Yeah, I, Rockstar hasn't responded, though. It's been, you know, days, and they still haven't. Thank you, Colonel Otto, for subscribing, and, uh, am I the only one not really excited for GTA 6, to be honest? Well, I mean, I'm excited, but I'm not, like, one of those people that's, like, you know, obsessed with it. Like, I can wait. Um, thank you, Aaron. Like, I got plenty of other games that I can play right now, honestly. Does the GTA PC exploit affect invite-only lobbies? I think they can also do it to you if you're in an invite-only session. I think they attack you through Social Club. I could be wrong on that. Thank you, bruh. Um. Thank you. Hey, bro. I'm amazed in your knowledge about the Philippines in World War II. Thank you for telling some history facts. Well, thank you, um, uh, Jonathan. Call will I do a GTA in. San Andreas 100%? I will, um, uh, uh, I will cry Chrysler um, one day, yes. I'm the time traveler in GTA Online still isn't fixed. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I, I posted that on, like, the the sun's like comments because the sun like that newspaper in britain like posts about the time traveler constantly like i posted like ask a time traveler when gta 6 will be fixed and it got like 400 likes 
Well, only play Red Dead 1, probably later in the Hello. year. What editing software and capture card do you use? Um, I don't remember the name of the capture card that I use, but editing software, sometimes for simple projects, I'll use Movie Maker, but for more complicated projects, I'll use Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, Pro, uh, so far your weird sleep schedule is because of the stress of your many projects and lore videos. And, uh, I got something to show you. Okay, Melon, yeah. I've just been staying up late, you know, doing a lot of these, um, working on these projects. What are the best activities, uh, whoa. Uh, what, what are the best activities to do solo in GTA Online that you can earn consistent money? I made a video on this, um, some time ago, Boombox, but it's like, look up my video, like, top five, like, best, like, ah. Uh, Top five, top five, um, uh, best, like, solo-making, uh, money-making activities. Here's two dollars. Uh, thank you, uh, 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 spend it well. Thank you, uh, the guy. Thank you, man, for the super chat. But I would say probably the best way to make money solo is to probably have the Acid Lab producing the nightclub and, um, and then just do Cayo Perico. I want to ask a time traveler if ha Halo and Saints Row is going to be saved. If people these days are going to toughen up and if it will get better, ah, uh, probably not, Mr. Waifu. Saints Row developer doesn't look like they're going to change. Thanks for the super chat. Hey, pro, what's up? You really need to take a break and no need to apologize for the lore video delay. You need to take time to look after yourself once in a while. Thank you, uh, Dark the Demon. Well, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you guys for your concern. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. I got a customer for you right now. Oh, shit. I need a police update. I don't know. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know if that would really work, honestly. Taxi is as profitable as a side gig to make quick cash. Well, the thing about the taxi business is that you really don't need anything. You don't need to invest anything in it, and it's you don't need to kill anybody, you don't need to waste ammo. It doesn't make you a lot of money. It's like, like, like you know, a fun activity to do on the side, I guess. Like, you know, I, I guess it's a throwback to the old GTA games. Thank you, nicest person in the universe for that super chat. Do you live in the US? I do. Yeah, I think once this stream is over, you know, hours from now, I'm probably gonna... Probably not gonna want to do Taxi for a very long time. Is this PS5? Yes, it is. This is. Front, I'll do Medal of Honor Frontline in like June. It's a weird place to get dropped off. My favorite property online, probably the nightclub because it just produces uh, just so much stuff that it's it does you don't require any work for it really. I wish the customers would spawn a little bit closer.
$4,758 already collected. At least this is a pretty easy fair, this one here. Thank you, Chrysler. Um, I will look in just one moment here. Thanks. That's one percent money towards a five hundred thousand dollar goal. There's a job near you right now. Hey, Pearl, do you think CJ had an influence in Catalina betraying Claude in GTA? I believe so. Possibly, but I think it's also just because Catalina's is unstable in general. GTA 6, would you like to see functional gas stations for, you have a small gas meter, you mean something like okay, Mafia 2? Oh yeah, sure, no pr I would love to see that, but I think a lot of players would complain if they had that, honestly. But I wouldn't mind it. $8,000 already. Hey, Christine Wyatt, how are you? Thank you, it's Ant. I got bored on Reddit Online and GT Online because there's nothing new for me uh, to buy, and since I have almost everything, what, uh, everything, what other open world games do you recommend? Try playing Saints Row 2. Hey, GB. Hey, Brandon. Uh, Saints Row 2 is a 2008 game, but I honestly think it's the my it's I think it's like the best open world crime game I've ever played. I do think Saints Row 2 is better than GTA's even. How did you get a custom taxi? You had to get up to rank 25 tier in the arena. The, the, getting the custom taxi is not that hard. That actually doesn't require that much work in the arena. Um, it's level 25, but you actually could probably get there pretty quick. Um, watch my video, How to Rank Up Fast in the Arena. I made it four years ago, and it's still relevant to this day. One moment, I'm gonna look at your, your comment in just one second here. I just gotta uh, deliver this person here. This is a straight road. Thanks. Okay. Your thoughts about what happened in uh, in California? Well, thank you for the uh, super chat, Mario. It's just it's a tragedy. It's just very unfortunate. I heard about it really late at uh, uh, night um, yesterday. But it's uh, or it was kind of morning already when I was going to sleep. But yeah, I did hear about it. It was uh, it, it's very unfortunate. But yeah, people um. Uh, we need to wait for it. I, I, I think that the I think the the crazy person I think that they uh, they already got him I think the police killed him earlier But uh, we're gonna have to wait for more facts to come out
pro would you say it's good to switch the game you play? Oh yes, 100%. Um, you know, when I do streams, I typically don't switch up the game. Streams, I typically dedicate to this one game. Um, but, uh, but I, I get you, though. Uh, I get you, though, Express. And, um, I do think, I generally do think that, like, every channel out there on YouTube, like, any video game channel, I think that, you know, doing a, ch a, a only one type of video game, like, doing only GTA, I think it's a bad idea. I think it is. And, like, the channels that do, like, only one game, I think that, though, like, I think those channels are gonna be in trouble one day, because... The problem with doing only one game is that you might get, like, a lot of views and a lot of subscribers if you do one game, especially if that game is popular and getting a lot of updates like GTA. But the issue is, what happens when that game stops receiving updates? What happens? If you want a perfect example, look at Red Dead Online channels. What happened to Red Dead Online channels when Rockstar stopped updating the game? If you look at just my Red Dead Online videos, when Red Dead Online came out and I started uploading videos, they actually got a decent amount of views. And uh, they were actually close to, like, GTA views. And what happened is 2019, there was like three updates in 2019 to Reddit Online, and I put out guides on them, got a lot of views. One of my videos is like near a million views on my Reddit Online guides. And then like whenever I, you know, I, another update, like, you know, the game started getting less and less content, and I kept uploading Reddit Online guides, like the, the videos just dropped so much in views because people just weren't interested in the game. And honestly, I think that's going to happen to GTA Online channels one day too. I think that the channels that are only doing one game... I honestly think they're making a mistake. Like, I don't want to tell people what to do on their channels. Their choice. But my personal opinion is, I think if you're doing one game on your channel, it's 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 going to be a problem in the future. Because when GTA Online announces its final update, um, the, those channels that are only doing, like, GTA, are, their views are probably going to plummet. At least that's my prediction of what I think is going to happen. I'm not too worried about that, because I play, like, a lot of different games. But, uh, you know, I've prepared myself for years for that. Uh, will you play Devil in Me, Dark Pictures game? Thank you, uh, uh, Chrysler. Yes, I have that game. I do want to play it. I, I, I don't know when I'll get around to it. Um, any up, uh, let's see here. Any ideas of new heists, uh, for a future GTA update? Uh, thank you, Sebas, um, for the super chat. I think that, why don't they do a North Yankton heist? And they, the North Yankton heist, why don't they do, like, you know, you're probably thinking, what could you possibly rob in North Yankton? Well, North Yankton is based on North Dakota. And do you know what North Dakota actually has in it um, that a lot of people don't know about? That's, uh, it has actually nuclear missile silos. Yes, it does. So a lot of people don't know about that. But uh, it, a lot of states in the Midwest have a nuclear missile silos. And, um, you know, they're, they're, the nuclear missile silos were built there because they were away from, like, a lot of cities. And, um, and it was, they were built, like, in the northern part of the U.S., especially just so that they could go over the Arctic and, you know, possibly retaliate against the Soviet Union during the Cold War. So I could imagine they could, you know, they could do, like, some heist in, like, North Yankton, and they could just reuse the North Yankton map, and maybe, like, some top-secret military base or something like that, and, like, you know, Pavel sends you in to, like, you know, steal something, you know, something like that, and there could be, like, different approaches and stuff like that. I could imagine that. They could do something like that, probably. That was, um... I can definitely see that happening. Okay, we're at 13,000. We're actually making pretty good progress so far. You seem happier since you uh, you stopped GTA uh, only GTA Online videos, y and yes, you, you are um, you are right on that. Um, you are right on that. Uh, expre express. Yes, I my mood changed, and I'm just much happier ever since. Like I started diversifying my content because I started you know getting like kind of upset, and I just wasn't happy when I you know kept doing GTA Online content. I never hated GTA Online, nor did I like regret all the GTA Online videos that I made. The only thing I regretted was that I didn't make other videos as much, like, different games on the side, on the, next to the GTA Online videos. Because then what happened was I wanted to play other games, I wanted to start, try other stuff, and every single time I tried to, oh no, whoa, gotta watch out here. Ah. 
But every single time I tried to, uh, you know, play a different game, every single time I tried to do something different, I would, uh, you know, I would have these people that would come to my channel and they would just complain and they were nasty and they were like, you know, why aren't you playing GTA Online? Where's the GTA Online video? And it was just, you know, stuff like that. It was endless spam and it was getting, you know, bad and it was, you know, frustrating me. But, like, you know, eventually I just said, you know what, screw this. Just, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna play whatever game I feel like playing, and, you know, they're not gonna tell me what game I can and can't play. Like, most people were cool, but then there was that, you know, small group of people that kept spamming, and, you know, they were just being very toxic, and just, some people even cursed me out for doing other games, so just because they wanted to see GT Online. And, uh, you know, when I started doing other content, I just st started feeling a lot better about myself, too. Like, you know, the Medal of Honor videos, for example, like, you know, you watch my Medal of Honor Rising Sun play through. Yeah, yeah, they don't get a lot of views compared to, like, my GTA Online content, sure, but I really enjoy doing them, and I'm happy, and I really like, like, you know, I like playing a classic game like that, talk about the history, and it's just, you know, those videos, those videos have, like, a very special place in my heart. Gracias. Okay. okay, about 3% already. Um, I hate when people uh, drive with their high beams at night within city limits. Most shouldn't be driving at night if they have that much trouble seeing. Yeah, I, I agree with you, and it, it does frustrate me when somebody's using high beams in an area they shouldn't be using at Victor. It's, just, it's, it's annoying and it hurts your eyes. Hey Patrick, hope you're having a great, uh, great evening, uh, day so far. Have you seen the Last of Us show, and or will you play part, uh, part one or either PSV, PS5, PS, uh, PC comes out in March uh, on Steam. Also, what do you think on Michael coming to online in 20, uh, 2023? Thank you, um, Binded, Binded Eagle. Um, but uh, thank you for, um, uh, thank you for your super chat. I'll play the Last of Us one one day. I don't know if I'll do the, the Last of Us 2, because I, I didn't like the story in The Last of Us 2 as much as, the, you know, the, the first game I thought was really good. I thought the second one, I, I, didn't, I didn't like parts of the story in the second one. But uh, I, I would be open to playing them. As for Michael, I don't know if Michael would come into GT Online. You know, people keep saying, like, some movie movies DLC. I don't know. You know, we'll have to see. Oh, yeah, this is, this is far now here. Yeah, bit of a ridiculous drive here now. What oh, is this, Devin Weston's house where we're going? close to Devin, Devin's house. But thank you, um, Binded Eagle, for that uh, super chat. Thanks, man. Uh, let me just drop this guy off and I'll look at the comments again, guys. Ah, oh, no. Actually, that probably was a good thing that that door got knocked off. Oh, great, yeah. Down there, only look at the chat. It's time to make some crazy money. <laughs> yeah, Victor, taxi, though. Should GT Online add vigilante missions? Um, I don't know. I think it'd be maybe too easy with, the, like, the jets and everything like that. Thank you, Alex, for the super chat. Have you seen Taxi Driver starting Robert De Niro? Hope you're having a great night. Actually, no, I, I haven't. I know the movie, but I haven't seen it, Dylan. Thank you for the super chat, man. 
Thank you, guys. Uh, it's always better to do the things you love rather than listen to Toxic Visual. I'm glad you're much happier producing game content other than GTA Online. Thank you, Bunny, uh, Bunny, um, uh, Bunny Bridget. Thanks. Thank you. Two new vehicles with tax. Uh, Taxi liveries are not required for taxi work. Well, I I know Pearson that you know the Eudora, um, uh, the Eudora and then the other one, uh, Broadway, that they don't they don't let you do taxi missions in those, which kind of suck, even though they have the livery. Thank you, David. Uh, what if Rockstar didn't make a physical version of GTA 6 because the digital sells more? Uh, I, I think they'll make a physical. You know, I I always like to keep a physical copy. Best of luck, uh, Pro. It's gonna be a long haul for sure. Thank you, Tar. Uh, hey, Pro. I love your channel, uh, and I'm glad to be a, a channel member. I'm I'm not trying to stress you out, but will you be doing Chinatown Wars soon? Today's Chinese New Year. Yes. Um. Uh. Yes, Hesh. Um. I will be. I just have to get the jacket that Huang wears, but I um uh, because uh, I want to dress up as the characters. But I'll be doing Chinatown Wars probably somewhere early February. So after Medal of Honor, it'll be Chinatown Wars. Do, you, do I see the ray tracing reflections in GTA 5 um, uh, on console? No, I, I really haven't looked at it, Timothy. I have to turn on. I have to turn on fidelity, right? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I have to turn on fidelity for that. Thank you, um, Teddy. Hi, professional. Of your lore videos, which are your favorites? Um, mine are your Dimitri and Sunny Forelli videos. Um, my favorite lore video that I've made. My, my favorite lore video that I've probably made is actually probably one that a lot of people haven't watched. It's the, um, it's the, the real-life horror story that, um, inspired Little Hope. So if you ever watch me play the Dark Pictures Little Hope, I made, like, a historical, like, you know, lore video, um, and it's, like, over an hour long. I made it in, like, May of 2021, and I made it talking about the, um, uh, talking about, uh, about Little Hope specifically, and I talked about the characters in the game and how they were based on real-life um, uh, characters and the real-life story that happened. I hate when the fairs go to Sandy Shores because then it actually becomes harder. Ah. Thousand. Okay. I've got someone for you. Hey, pro. Would you ever do Hell Let Loose live stream? Uh. Is that the real Mark Felton? Oh no, it's not. Uh, wait, is it? Mark Felton Gaming. Um. Oh, is that the real Mark Felton? If it if it is, I do I watch a lot of your historical videos. If that's really you, Mark. Uh, but um, uh, yes. Um, for if you're asking me about Hell Let Loose, uh, I would consider doing a Hell Let Loose live stream one day. Yes. Uh, oh, where am I going? Following this here. What video game, uh, not sorry pro, it's a parody, oh, okay. Well, um, I, I, I'm assuming you like my historical videos, and I'm assuming you're a fan of Mark Felton then, but I, um, yes, I, I've done Hell Let Loose videos before, usually in background footage, but I could do a stream on that one day, yes. Thank you, Ted, Teddy, and Timothy. Thanks, guys. Uh, would I ever take a cab for that distance in real life unless it was an airport? Um, no, well, 
You know, I've taken I've taken a lot of Ubers though in in real life when I have to um, when I want when go visit my family because I don't want to leave the you know the the car at the airport parked. What video game that wasn't made by Rockstar do you think has the most bru the most brutality in every way and how and why? Um, thank you, uh, Binded Eagle. What game do I think that wasn't made by Rockstar that has the most amount of brutality? Um, that would be a hard question to answer. Um, I would say the most brutal game that's not made by Rockstar, Outlast. Yeah, Outlast. I think that's made by Red Barrels. Outlast, I would say, yeah. Hey, Pro, um, uh, just read your community post. Um, uh, it's fine, uh, uh, um, brother. Take, take your time. And I am sure, I'm sure many of us are with you. Thank you, um, thank you, Push, um, Push Finder. Thanks, man. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, everybody, for being concerned about my health. I do appreciate it a lot, guys. I just wanted to give an explanation on why my lore videos were getting delayed. But yeah, if you guys, you guys give me a few more days on the lore video and later in this week, and, uh, you know, I'll be able to relax and, uh, and, uh, you know, I'll be able to put it out, and it'll be a really good one. Okay, I really hope that the next one takes me to the city. Please, just don't take me to, don't take me to, uh, to Sandy Shores again. Thanks. It's 4% already there. I got a customer for you right now. Oh, they're really close by. Okay, please just take, just go to the city. Don't, don't make me take you to Sandy Shores. Peace to you. That island too. I'll probably give that a chance. Let's get this chariot in motion. Drive the customer to their destination. Okay. pretty good it's all good take the time you need you deserve a break thanks George and thank you Shimon hey man I know how you feel about modding on PC Rockstar will never fix it it's so ridiculous that they can never fix a modding system it's so broken thanks Shimon yeah Rockstar Rockstar is incompetent as hell I agree with you and the thing about this is it's been what you know four or five days since this like this this like you know mod menu has come out that can like ban people and Rockstar has not made any kind of statement, nothing whatsoever on it, nothing. You know, seriously, you know, maybe you should take that money from all the GTA Plus and actually hire like a community manager that actually talks to people. I am playing on the PS5. Okay, drive careful.
Okay, here we go. Many thanks. Hey pro, I have a request from you. Could you make a video on a right on now. God of War explaining character and story from part one to last? Thank you. Hope you may uh make it. Thank you, Push. But but the thing is though, Push, is I haven't played the God of War game, so I don't know the lore. So I, I, I don't think I would really be able to make a video like that though. I do have like lore videos coming out in different games like Saints Row 2, uh, you know, this year too. And I want to make ones, a few lore videos in The Godfather too. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, but I, I don't know, I don't know God of War though. They get a community manager who's as bad as the Saints Row one. Yep, I could possibly see that too. You know, honestly, like... It, you know, as as bad as the as bad as the Saints Row de devel developers were, at least they responded to people, even with, even though they argued. Where Rockstar, it's they don't even respond to people; they ignore everyone. It's Thank you, Dylan Ham. It's laughable and excusable that a multi-billion dollar company can't fix their own game, but the modded community can, yeah. Modders actually make patches for games faster than the developer does. Uh, thank you, um, Rashawn. Hey, Pro, love your videos, man. It helped me through my anxiety for exams and college life. Love your walkthroughs. I watch it every day. Peace, brother. Thank you, Rashawn. Thanks, man. And thank you, Aaron. Ranking all the Saints Row games and reason for spot. Um, hey, GB. Um... Saints Row 2, best one, second best Saints Row 1, you know, third best Saints Row 3, fourth best Saints Row 4, and last best, um, or I shouldn't say best, just worst one, the Saints Row reboot. Damn, I really wish I could just take fares in the city, I don't like driving out here. $24,000 made already. It's close to 5% of the money. Hey Pro, love your videos and channel. If you could change anything about the taxi business, what would be? I think it should pay a little bit more. I think, thank you CD, I think the taxi business, I think that it should have the same bonuses that the, um, the, the taxi business has in the classic GTA. It's like you do five in a row, you get a bonus. You know, you do ten in a row, you get a bonus. And it just keeps stacking up. That's what I think it should be. I got a straight drive there. 
Thank you, George. No, Sonny, I don't have the money. Currently playing GTA Vice City Definitive Edition for the Platinum. Yeah, I, I got 100% completion in Vice, Vice City Definitive Edition, but I don't have the Platinum yet. I think I have to, I missed something, though, that I still have to do there. Traveling pretty fast here, okay. No, 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 no! Damn, do you, do you fools even, like, look before you turn? Besides Scarface, um, what other 80s movies do you like? Um, I like the Rambo movies a lot, Jimmy. I like Commando also. Have you seen Angry Joe's reviews on games like Ride to Hell, Rambo the Video Game, Godzilla? There- oh yes, I have. Yeah, Angry Joe's a great channel. I have watched him for years. I'm actually not subscribed to that many YouTubers that have millions of subs. But, you know, Angry Joe, you know, I've always liked him. And the thing is, I don't even agree with everything that Angry Joe always says about a video game, but I still watch him. He's entertaining. He's a cool guy. And, he's, and you know, the thing about Angry Joe is... Angry Joe is brutally honest. That's the thing about Angry Joe and what's, uh, what's good about him is, you know, he's not... You know, just because, like, even like even if the vast majority of the video game com community is going to like a game, he's if he hates something in a game, he's going to call it out. Back in the city. I hope I don't get taken back to Sandy Shores. I really hope I don't. Answer questions in just one moment here, everyone. Damn. see here I got a customer for you right now the good thing in this DLC is that I can kill the drunk guy payphone hits using Pegasus taxi other than that um, worst DLC ever love you love your videos enjoy well thank you um thank you angel I mean I, I I think that this uh I think the taxis aren't like something amazing but I think they're adding something different to the game which are adding like role-playing and like they're adding like you know the ability to make money like legally like when you really think about this is a legal way to make money i want to see like you know more like you know more like stuff maybe something like this possibly added in like another thing but like you know pay a little bit better 
Hey Pro, what are your thoughts about PvP Cat's new video on the future of GTA and Red Dead Online in the upcoming Rockstar Investor Call on February 3rd? Any hopes, concerns? They might give us a trailer for GTA 6, and that's a big might. Don't, you know, don't bet on it. You know, the, the GTA YouTubers are like clickbaiting on that, saying that they're, they're, they're probably, I'm not, you know, referring to PvP Cats with that. He's a good guy. What I'm just saying is there's like a lot of like, you know, you know, clickbaity GTA, you know, YouTubers that will like, you know, speculate endlessly. But I haven't seen PvP Cats video, so I'd have to, um, I have to watch to see what, if I agree with what he's saying. But, uh, but yeah, we might get a GTA 6 trailer, you know, in the, um, uh, we might get a GTA 6 trailer in, uh, uh, in, in February. I don't know. It's a possibility with their, their earnings call. You know, it'll definitely boost their stock. But we're gonna have to see. Pro, would be cool if they remade Saints Row? Is Saints Row 1 and 2? Yeah, I think that would be a great one. Um, Let's get this chariot in motion. Thank you, Darksider. And thank you, Faris. Uh, thank you for sponsoring my channel. Thanks, Faris. The reason the aliens have not visited Earth on it is because they have not found any intelligent life on it. Well, thank you, David. Uh, aliens are probably like, you know, looking at Earth and they're probably like, Oh, wow, Rockstar hasn't fixed the, uh, they haven't fixed this, this, this mod, this game-breaking mod in GT Online. We're not going to visit anytime soon. <laughs> thank you, uh, Faris Q. Thanks. Thank you, John, um, John Algood. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. Okay, we're back in the city, which the city will make... The city will at least make it easier. Thank you, uh, uh, Tucker Reed. Thank you for, thank you for, uh, the super chat. Thanks, guys. Have I been live? You know, about 45 minutes, like around there. Thank you, Aravind. Um, uh, hey, Pro, big fan. Do you think GTA 6 will be anything like Vice City? Hopefully, they set in the 80s. No, we know it's not going to be in the 80s. It's going to be modern day. But it, I hope that it's like Vice City, where it follows like the drug storyline and like criminal empire storyline. Like, just please, there's no high spam. Like, there's pro there's definitely gonna be a heist in the next GTA game, but, like, I hope it's not as much as GTA 5, because GTA 5's story was, like, like, a Midwestern heist gang that, like, went to San Andreas, but it was that they, um, if they, if they do, like, if they do Vice City, like, you know, the, like we've seen, you know, please just focus on drugs, that's what I would like to see, like, a drug storyline, like, something with cartels and stuff like that, you know, maybe smuggling off the coast of Vice City in speedboats, like, you know, things like that. You know, uh, I don't mind if there's like a heist here and there, but I just don't want to see heist spam in the next one. One v one fist fight. Who uh, who wins, Claude or Trevor? Uh, 
Trevor, I would say, yeah, probably. And a gunfight, Claude would probably win. I also love everything you do. Keep up the good work. Thank you, um... Thank you, man. Thank you, disre Disrespect. Thanks, man. And thank you, CD. I went to sleep thinking the leaks were a mod of GTA 5, but woke up to a surprise. How did you see it? Oh, I, I, my sleeping schedule has been a bit messed up, and I, you know, I woke up kind of late the other day, and then, like, and then I looked at, like, my YouTube, I got comments and people messaging me that, like, GTA Online on PC is finished. And I was like, you know, what's going on here exactly? And then I heard about the mod. Honestly, I wasn't too surprised about it. I really wasn't. Oh, this is PS5 version. Thank you, Metsy. And thank you, David. Uh, I got a job going right now. Hey, Pro, please reply. Hey, Ian. Um, is this person that where's this person near the airport? Okay. Thank you, Thomas Jefferson, for subscribing to my uh, my channel. Thank you, the the levy for subscribing. Thank you, Wolf um uh, Wolf of Folk Folk Town for subscribing. Could you be a government agent with your degree? Oh yeah. Like, if you mean, like, CIA or, you know, stuff like that, no, probably, you know, I'd have to work my way up to that eventually, um, uh, but if you mean, like, if you mean, like, you know, my degree, could I have, like, you know, worked in the FBI, DEA, yeah, but, you know, you would have to, you, you don't, you don't just get a job in FBI and, like, you know, DEA, you have to spend some time with some lower, usually with some lower law enforcement, you know, for a number of years before you go to, um, the, uh, before you go to the higher-ups. That one's actually not that far away, okay. Let's go, please. Where does this person need to go? Two and a half miles, okay. Uh are you into sports betting? No. What do I think happened to Claude after the events of GTA 3? He probably kept working, um, you know, for a lot of different gangs. 
but at that point, he's, you know, he's pissed off the vast majority of the gangs in Liberty City. Thank you, yes man. Thanks for uh, thanks for sponsoring my channel, man. I really hope the next one doesn't take me to Sandy Shores. Come on, ah. Thanks. Can I do a video showing my game collection? I could one day, David, but I have a lot of my games also in New York, um, in my parents' house, so I'd have to do a video probably on my games here and then like my games there like one day and like combine them. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit five hundred thousand dollars in just uh in taxi fares on this stream. Big, big, big drive here again. What are you doing? You can't, you can't turn through a double yellow line. Thank you, Jimmy. I will just look in just one second here. Thank you, Paul. Uh get over to the drop here first. Yeah, big drive here now. Can you take that cab to a garage to be repaired? Uh, you can't, Paul. Uncle from Red Dead Redemption 2 puts in more oh, effort than Rockstar. In. Thank you, Jimmy. He does.
thank you, Aravind. Aravind. Uh, hey, pros, wondering, why haven't you played Cyberpunk on your channel? That's the same 80 synthwear vibes like Vice City, just curious. I I just haven't been into it personally, like fut very futuristic games like that. And then, you, ha you know, they had the whole disaster with the game as well. And this car spins out way too fast in the sand. Thank you, Antler, for subscribing. Thank you, X9 members, for subscribing. And thank you, Ray Sean, for subscribing. Uh, thank you, Yes Man, for the super chat. I'm just gonna look in just one moment here, guys. And thank you, Expert, for sponsoring the channel, man. Taxi rep or level system to let you pick up high-end customers that tip more would have been better. Yeah, and I think, you know, they should have given you, like, an extra $5,000 every five tips that you do. 10000 for every 10 tips you do in a row. Wow, look at how far this, this one is. Near This one's nearly four miles. Damn, this is why I hate country fairs. Yeah, country fairs suck. Thank you for the super chat, David. Okay, here we go, 2.73. Thank you, the expert, for sponsoring the channel. Dropping this person off with the sawmill. How long is it going to take for five hundred thousand? Oh, a few hours at least.
Okay, here we go. Thanks. Oh, what a drive, right? That sucked. Also, no political nonsense in GTA right 6. I don't like games which dive into real life examples and tell you what you should do. Yeah. Well, I, 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 they, I, I don't want to see any kind of, you know, modern politics in, like, the next GTA game. I don't mind if they have fictional, like, parody politics, like, like funny fake politics. But if they, like, have, like, uh, you know, if, if they try to, like, base it on real politics, then that's going to be a bad idea. Ah, come on. Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, man. The, the, look at these routes, guys. These routes are disgusting. This is ridiculous. My favorite GTA uh, TV show? Um, I don't know if I really have one. I've watched a lot of them, but... Do I think Sony will put Scarface in the PS5? No, probably not. Yeah, please, I just want to go back to the city. I don't want to keep doing these fairs in the country. Thank you, JM58. Yeah, this is a ridiculous drive. Sorry if this is a repeated question, but do you think Rockstar will ever publicly address these hacking stuff? Or keep silent? Keep silent, probably, yeah. Once they start losing a ton of players on PC because they're not buying shark cards, then they're probably going to do something about it, Ryan. I don't know how a multi-billion dollar game can have this terrible security. Thank you, um, uh, ZI Bless Ops. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, they definitely are aware of the issue, but it's it's stupid that they're not acknowledging it. Thank you, Kelp, for subscribing. Like, that suck. Like, please, just don't give me, like, any more fares like that. I've got someone for you. They don't want to acknowledge it because they have so much money. Yeah. It might also drive down their stock price. Hey, Dotsy. Hey. Thank you, Ryan Let's go, and, J uh, and JM58. Okay, this one's a more reasonable drive. Okay.
hopefully, I really hope this takes me back to the city. Have I heard of the Boxer Rebellion? Yes, that was in China. Ooh, that was like over 120 years ago. Thank you, Edgy. How's your cap so fast? Oh, it's the custom taxi from the Arena Wars. Thanks. There's a job near you right now. to get picked up, but... I really hope I stay in the city from now on here. Do you think that 3rd Street Saints could easily take on Grove Street families? If all the crazy things the Saints have done, yeah, they could probably end up beating Grove Street in a war. percent of the money made already. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Dylan Ham, for that super chat. Okay, here we go. Did you ever watch some movie called uh, The Old Way? I I don't know what that is. What kind of movie is it? A jam? Ah, great. They got a date. Now they want to be taken somewhere away from the city. It's a western movie of Nicolas Cage. Uh, that's what the old way is. Oh, okay. Well, I could look into it. Thank you, JM. that uh, I'm amused Muslow level don't know the source and sell 
but most low levels don't know the source and said one CEO crate is the best RP grinding method. I placed with low level, uh, I played with low level once. I said, let's do crate for RP. He said, no, Kyo Perico is better. Oh, well, yeah, he's selling one crate at a time. You'll get like 9,000 RP. I know, 7,000 RP. If you get like 25 or 25 or 400 RP for just delivering it, and then you get like an extra 5,000 just for selling it, even if it's one crate. Hey, Pearl, you should play a game called The Happy Few. It's a history survival game that takes place in the 60s UK dystopia. I think you'd like the lore. Hmm. I think I, 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 I have to, uh, I have to, I, I, good, I should play it. Is that the game with, like, the British cops that have, like, kind of the clown face paint? Is that the one? I think it might be, Bunny. Oh, it is. Okay. Seventy miles. I, these these customers have to stop taking me to Sandy Shores. I don't want to do fairs in Sandy Shores. I want to do it in the city. Next fair docks to Polito. I hope it's I not. Job going right now. Hope hope it's not. a city one.
to give you a little bit bigger tips if the drives are farther. Are you streaming until you get 500,000? I'll try to, Carson. I got a customer for you right now. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit long. Can I get a ride to Del Perro Pier? Kidding. Serious question. Have I ever played Mass Effect Trilogy? No, I, I haven't. I've seen some videos on them. Um. Ah. I've seen some videos on them, but no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't played 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 them I I don't think you can fix the car though when it's damaged Blow it up and call it again. I don't want to ruin my streak, so it's just... Good landing, well thank you. So no yes? Oh come on, where do I Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, the route a bit far, but we'll get there. I wish it was a little closer, though.
one mile. Roman has come a long way. Well, thank you, Anton. Thanks, Jam58. I hate selling in public lobbies because I'm marked to oppressor. We'll come out of nowhere and kill you when you're trying to sell this, blow you up. Yeah, well, you, you can sell now in, um, in private, in, uh, in invite-only, in friends-only sessions, but you don't get the high demand bonus, though. Well, the taxi business isn't really worth it because you don't get that much money from it, but it is, um, you know, a fun activity that you can do on the side, something different that you can do, you know? Thank you, John, for subscribing. Are oh, you doing all right right now? Yeah, I'm fine. Update is okay. These roots, right? They're getting ridiculous. Wish they were a lot closer to each other. Thank you. Thank you so much. You seem tired. Yeah, I am a little bit tired. I haven't been sleeping well lately, but thank you, Gussie. Why do they keep the tip if you drive um, uh, if you drive fast? Well, the tip goes down if you if you take a little bit um, if you take a little bit longer. But hey, Hello. 
thank you, Gussie. Uh, go, good please. video on the scam bots, Pearl. Thank you, Revan. Shortcuts here. Okay, there we go. Well, you start reviewing the Drug Wars DLC after the repeat content is released. I think I, I think after everything's released. Thank you, DHC. I got a job going right now. Okay. I hate how they're dragging the drip feed out. Honestly, guys, for me, for me, I honestly don't mind the drip feed taking so, some some time. And I know it might sound a bit controversial, but the reason that I don't mind is because oh, this is this is the easiest fare that I've had all day. Uh, the reason that I don't mind is because it's easier for me. When there's a lot of more drip feed. Uh, then it, it's it's easier for me to finish everything and you know because then I don't have to rush with everything at once So I can just you know just focus on one thing at a time But the the most I'll tell you though the most that I've ever been stressed out on YouTube like making videos The most that I've ever been stressed out is uh, December of 2019. I'll never forget that December of 2019 I didn't sleep for like 48 hours in December of 2019 uh, basically what happened was the Casino DLC came out and the Moonshiners DLC came out. And I was making videos on both Red Dead and Moonshiners and doing streams on both and guides on both all, you know, in like two days. And it was horrible. And, you know, and I just, you know, it was just, it was terrible. It was just, I, ba I barely had any sleep and it was just really bad. Thank you for your dedication. Well, thank you. Hi. Okay, drive careful. North Yankton should be added, added uh, to GT Online with the same way they did Kayo. Um, uh, the game opens with a heist there, so I bet they can do the same for online. Were you watching my stream earlier, Anton? Maybe like an hour ago, I actually talked about this. Thank you for the super chat. But I said that, you know, North Yankton is based on North Dakota, 
and uh, and I've been to North Dakota before. I made videos on it, and I've made a video on it on my channel. But uh, basically, uh, they could do like a nuclear missile silo heist because North Dakota actually does have a lot of nuclear missile silos, so they could do something like that. Thank you for subscribing, Monster Cat. Re respect the efforts, uh, man. You gained my, my view. Well, thank you, um, a Slayer. Thanks, man. Thank you, GTA R RJ1. Thank you. Thank you, XX Goaded. These people have some nice, really far drops. Who suggested this channel, D Demonic Mind? Well, I um, I was just thinking. I used to do like challenges like this, and so I thought that I'd I'd, I'd go for something like this. I think you should have a second screen monitor so you can read the chat a bit better instead of always looking down your phone. It will be easier. Yeah, I could possibly do something like that in the future, and Antonio, thank you for the super chat. Could you do a video on Tahiti in 1899? I could. I wanted to do a video on, on the Cuba missions and like explaining what actually happened in the story mode in Red Dead uh, at, around that time. No, that sucked. It seems like a very safe taxi to get into, right? This is one of the taxis of all time. Well, thank you, average height. Imagine Arthur fighting in the uh, Spanish-American War. Well, the Spanish-American War was actually going on around the same time as Red Dead. Uh. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. Thank you, Edgy. Thank you, Redwoods, for subscribing. Let's get this chariot in motion.
here we go. Flooring it. You ever think they'll do three times money on taxi? It's a possibility. That'll be like around $6,000 a fare, which actually wouldn't be that bad. Thank you, JM, for the super chat. Taxi, a new update? Yes, they added this uh, drip feed with drip feed content. Do you know what I'm looking forward to the most in the drip feed, guys? I'm looking forward to the drug dealers the most in the drip feed because there's going to be drug dealers that are going to be added. And the drug dealers are going to work directly with your MC businesses. So that's what I'm looking forward to the most in that. I know this, the street dealers are gonna be that you can like, um, that you can like sell parts of your product to them, right? But how are the stash houses gonna work exactly? How do those work? Does anybody know in the, um, in the comments? Here we go. Yo, we're getting in the city now. Thank you, Andrea, for the super chat. I stay in the city from now on here. Thank you. Ooh. How are you? I'm good, Andrea. How are you? I've got someone for you. I'm getting pretty tired. How long is it gonna be until 1 a.m.? Well, what time is it your time, uh, GM58? But for me, it's 11.32 right now. Okay, this, this route actually isn't that bad.
Ten thirty-two. I'm on Arizona time. Oh, okay. Well, three hours will be one right your time, JM58. Uh, imagine Rockstar adds NFT heist to GTA Online or crypto scams. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Edgy. But yeah, those those crypto scams are just so annoying. Like you know, you see those scams, they they're in the comment section. They're like you know, they're like oh you know now's the best time to invest money, blah blah blah. And there's like another bot that replies and say like oh I made like twenty thousand dollar in returns in like four months or four weeks or just blah 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 this. Is doing 200 agency missions worth it? Not at once, like do it over time. Let's get this chariot in motion. Yeah, you don't want to do 200, you know, c contract missions at once. That's going to kind of suck. Ah, didn't want to lose a little bit there, but I did. Well, this next one at least takes me back to the city. God bless you, and thank you. I I have around 120,000 worth to spend it on. Oh, well, 120,000 dollars isn't a lot in GT Online. Oh, this 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 pick this customer was right next next to me. Jeez, there's that. Nightclub money uh, glitch bannable. I don't even know what a nightclub money glitch I is. Right I've never heard of a nightclub money glitch, but I wouldn't recommend doing glitches. They take the fun of the game. You're not. You don't really feel like you're earning them, and on top of that, you could get banned. So don't do that.
what's up with the uh, outfit? Oh, I, I like to dress up for my playthroughs, so, like, I, I do tend to do that. It's what makes my channel kind of unique is I do dress up as, like, the characters as I'm, like, I'm playing. I kind of have my, my GTA characters outfit on right now. No, oh, ow. Oh, damn, I wasn't trying to flip it there. Did I play Bully by Rockstar? Yeah, one day I could play Bully. Why do I have all white outfit on? It's just, just, you know, just my white, like, suit outfit. I have a black suit outfit, too. I wore that on the other one, I, other stream. And then I, and then I wore a biker jacket also once on a stream, so it's just... Nice driving, thank you. Thank you, Noah, for sponsoring my channel again. Thank you, uh, Noah. Thank you, Hunter. What is better, Akula or F1 Hunter? I think the Akula is more of a solo-friendly vehicle and has the off-the-radar ability, too. Thank you, Told by Abe. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you, Matthew, for subscribing. I remember the game Crazy Taxi? I think I do. Call just came in. It's the game where you're going like down the hill and you gotta avoid like a lot of different stuff, right? Taxi. Hi. Let's go, please. We went from like, you know, running like CEO offices and like crate businesses to hangers to uh, smuggling weapons with our bunker. And then, you know, running a nightclub, you know, running a nightclub, rob robbing a casino, robbing, like, a drug lord, to, uh, to literally uh, driving a taxi.
I've got someone for you. Okay, let's cut across here. Ah. Where are your doors? Oh, they got knocked off earlier. Peace to you. Love your stuff. Let's Is the auto shop worth buying? Place. Um, and what money tech vehicle should I get? Uh, auto shop. Yeah, you got those contracts to do, and there's also like the uh, but the auto shop warning though. So Santa and Moody Man, the contacts in it are really annoying, though. So just watch out with that, but. Auto shop is generally a good business to have, though. Thank you, Sam, uh, Samium. On a scale one to ten, rate the taxi business. Ah, uh, more like five. It's okay. It's like it's different. That's what I'll say about it. But it should the bonuses should be better on it. Thank you, GM58. Oh, great. Four miles. Wonderful. Thank you, Take It Easy, for subscribing. Thank you, uh, Fang. Thank you, uh, Zing Fang, for subscribing. And thank you, Krillin. Uh, bro, what is the best vehicle for a solo grinder? Um... For a solo grinder, so I'd say Sparrow, probably, yeah, Sparrow. This helicopter easily can be spawned, you don't need to be a CEO or an MC. Uh, infinite, like, infinite missiles, no cooldown on them. City ones after this, then.
Martin's house, huh? God bless you and thank you. I think shark cards are like credit cards. They they are supposed to be based on credit cards. Thank you, Jam58. Sending you the address now. Let's go, please. Oh, damn, nearly four miles again. Wonderful. Damn, these, some of these drops are just really annoying places. The routes you gotta take, right? Thank you, Scott, for subscribing. Thanks, man. Thank you, their face, for um, uh, for some, uh, for the super chat. hear about the Norwegian study about white paint being supposedly racist? I'm not making this up. What? White paint? What? What? How? How would white paint be racist? I, I don't... Okay. I was a bit confused, so thank you, Mario, for the, uh, for the super chat. But, yeah, um, people will, um, people will, uh, you know, they, they write these really stupid articles, uh, but what I'll tell you guys is, um, I'll tell you guys this, uh, I'm gonna make a Crazy Current Events video this week, but Kotaku, um, uh, made an article the other day attacking the Last of Us TV show, and while I wasn't a fan of the second game, um, I did like the first game a lot, which is what the TV show is based on, and, uh, Kotaku, do you know what they actually said in their article? They said that it's problematic and inappropriate to make The Last of Us when we're in the middle of a pandemic. That's what they said. And they said that, like, The Last of Us is, like, you know, it's, it's, it's not appropriate right now to, like, make a show like that. And the thing is, though, is when I saw The Last of Us, like, I didn't watch the first episode, but I just saw the trailers. I didn't think of the pandemic at all. I don't know what they were talking about. But, uh, that's what Kotaku said in their article. Thank you, um, uh, Whiteface. Uh, can't wait for GTA 6 uh, online right hot dog vendor business that'll come out five years after release. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna ask Rockstar Race a tip for the taxi fares, they're gonna claim that no one is that incompetent to give a $10,000 tip, I'm afraid. Well, the old games did it, though.
Just look up the article if you guys don't believe me. Kotaku, Last of Us 2, a uh, Last of Us TV show. Thank you, Kyle, for the um, uh, for subscribing. Thank you, JM58. Sure, maybe it was 2020, but we have vaccines now, so why is the pandemic not so bad anymore because of the vaccines? Well, it's just Kotaku. I just don't know what they're talking about in their, uh, in their, in their articles. Like, they're comparing the Last of Us TV show to the, uh, you know, pandemic. No. Yeah, taxi's not looking too good. Okay, where is this drive taking me to? Hopefully we just stay in the city from now on here. Man, what a drive on this one, right? It, the longer drive should have bigger tips, guys. That's longer drive should have bigger tips. That's the way I see it. Uh, when I get the chance to Mario, I will. No more four mile drives, please. Oh, my God. Yeah, my car is looking a little beat up. I lost a lot of the tip, too, because of the NPC drivers. How long would you estimate until you get uh, 500,000? Uh, thank you, Raphael. Uh, I got a job going right now. Probably gonna be like, you know, a long time. Very, very long time. Possibly the fit way things are going now, but it's like 10 hours possibly, but yeah. Would you guys, um, would you guys mind if I lowered the goal down to 250,000 instead of 500,000? I can do a, you know, Definitely, I can do 100 fares and 250,000. Because if I do 500,000, I think I'm gonna be here for 10 hours. I just didn't realize some of the routes were gonna be like four miles each one. Uh, but is that okay with you guys if I lower the goal down to 250,000? Because otherwise, I would be um, uh, I'll be streaming for 10 hours straight. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, everyone's saying 250 is okay. 
Um, yeah, well, I, I apologize for I apologize for making the gold, you know, two five hundred thousand. I do want to apologize to that everyone. I just didn't realize I didn't realize it was really gonna take this long because if I do five hundred thousand, we stream for ten hours straight. And that's not good for my health. Um, you know, I haven't had much sleep myself either. Um, but it's uh, yeah. It's uh, I will I will definitely hit two hundred fifty thousand. That I'll keep my word on, and I will hit that. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Let me just. I'm just gonna change the. Um, I'm just gonna change the title here really quickly, just so it's not misleading. I I, I really hate clickbait. So it's um. Okay. And I just changed title and thumbnail then. Okay, thank you everybody for being understanding too. I'm sorry that I said 500,000 at the beginning of the stream. I, like I said, I just, I just didn't expect like the, um, uh, you know, like I, I thought that most of the routes were gonna be like a mile, mile, two miles long most of the time. That's what I thought. Like, um, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't think that it was gonna be like, you know, sometimes like four mile drives. So that's just, you know, okay. I changed it to 250,000 the goal now. There's something up with PlayStation Network. It's been acting up lately. It has? How? How so? Okay, well, thank you, everybody, for being understanding. like you weren't trying. Well, thank you, Mr. Waifu. Yeah, I was, I was trying to get there as fast as I could. I just didn't realize that I just didn't realize the drops were just so far apart. Like, it's just a lot of times. I finished, I fixed the edit on the thumbnail. I did. Uh, but it's, uh, ba you just have to refresh the page. But basically, uh, what I'll say is that I wish the taxi was like, if the taxi was anything like the old GTA games, I'd get up to $500,000 in half the time, half the time, if it was like the old GTA games, because, because of the fact that you, you would get like every five and ten fares in a row, you'd get like a bonus, and on top of that, you could also cancel the, the rides, so like, if you didn't want to pick up a certain person, you could just keep going, and then another person will spawn, but this one, like, you can't do that, you can't just, you know, pick which customer you want to pick up, it's like, you gotta, you gotta keep going and going, and that's like, um, what happened to the 500,000 goal? Oh, we I, we lowered it to 250,000. I asked my viewers earlier if they were okay with that, and most people said they were. Uh, you know, I don't want to disappoint anybody, so I'm sorry for that. I was just, um, you know, I just I'd be streaming for 10 hours straight if I was just doing 500,000. So I just lowered it to 250, which is still going to be like a five-hour stream. So it's just. Um, Not really, you can't really cancel it, Terry. You'd have to find a new session, but I don't want to lose my streak, so it's just... It's all good, pro. Your health is what Matt, what's important. Thank you, Dylan. Are you running to? Okay. Call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. But yeah, I'm sorry earlier for the 500,000 gold, guys. I do apologize for that. I just, like I said, I just I don't want to disappoint anybody. I feel bad about that. I just uh, I just didn't realize that some of the drops would be so far away. But I'll be able to hit 250,000.
has anybody gotten more in fares than me? Like, I've done 52 fares straight. Has anybody done more than 52 fares yet? Uh, thank you, Jamie, for subscribing. Is the GTA 4 Taxi better than than you did uh, 5 Taxi? I, GTA 4 Taxi, I don't think there are taxi missions in GTA 4. I know there's taxis you can get into, but GTA 4 only has the taxi missions in the story mode. You call Roman early on, that's before Roman's cab depot gets burnt down. And stopped huh is the vice city tax missions better oh yeah vice city tax missions are way better than this way better bigger bonuses and you can you know you can you don't have to pick every customer up you can drive past them The customers spawn like a block away from you in Vice City, where in this one the customers will suddenly spawn like a mile away from you, which is really annoying. You know, I'm really curious what makes money faster, this or Arena Wars. It, it'd be really close. So I'm just really curious on that. I'd have to test that one day. I've got someone for you. Recess Puff cereal? Yeah, I've actually... I, I have eaten that before. Thank you, John, for the super chat. Thanks, man. This, this one's pretty close. Okay. Oh, they hit 100 grand soon. Okay, half a mile left. Got this. Do you do any cardio? What, you mean like... Well, I work out, but usually work out like muscles. Um, you mean running? Not really, no.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Uh, would it be possible right to use now. Cargo Bob for this? I think it would be, but it'd still be be pointless because, you know, who's gonna like, you know, who's gonna like, you know, fly you over across? It's like, um, I don't think you can even share cash from this. Yeah, you can't even share cash from the cab. So that's, uh, yeah. You look like the coolest taxi driver ever. Thank you, um. Thank you, I, 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 I assume, assume men, if I'm reading your name correctly. Thank you. Thank you, Ballistic Gamer, for subscribing. Thank you, RTG. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Taik Gija, uh, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And thank you, uh, Luis. Uh, Subpro, do you think Rockstar will face a a serious uh, lawsuit regarding uh, the PC problem with modders? I seriously hope so, so they can clean their act up. Well, I don't think they could really face a lawsuit. The modder might face a lawsuit, but I don't think Rockstar will. Like, I mean, like, you know, what are you going to sue them for? That, like, that, like, uh, unless, like, y if you got banned in the game because of a modder, you can't. I don't think you can really sue them for that. But you could sue... You could sue Rockstar if, uh, if, for example, if, like, your social club got hacked and your personal info got leaked or something like that, then, yeah, you could probably sue them. But if it's, like, you got banned in the game, even if you got banned for, like, no reason, I don't think you can really sue for that. So that's, like, uh, I think that's really grounds to sue, personally. Hey cousin, let's go bowling. <laughs> yeah, $99,000 so far. I wish you could repair this taxi during the missions. Hello. You look pretty tired? I'll, I'll, I'm a little exhausted, but I'm fine. My, I might make a teen a little bit. One hundred thousand in two hours. Yeah, the pay is very bad. Very, very bad. Go fuck your mama. It's pizza. Isn't it kind of weird though that I've been playing GTA Online for like two hours and I haven't used any gun or killed anybody? I know that might sound kind of weird, but it's like you're just so used to it in this game. There we go, 101,000. How's the workout journey going so far? I've been slacking a little bit. I haven't worked out in like a week, um, but you know, I gotta get back into it. Uh, thank you, Tron, uh, uh, Tron, Tron Ninja for that su super chat earlier. I do appreciate it, man. And thank you for, for, thank you probably Walter White for GTA 6. They should just have both protagonists die just like the real Bonnie and Clyde story, but then who would you play as afterwards though? 
uh, probably Walter White. Uh, thank you for the super chat. But honestly, I I hope I hope that I hope that Lucia and like Jason aren't a couple. I really hope they aren't. Um, and the reason I hope they aren't is because it's like. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to constantly be always with the other character. Well, not always be with the other character, but it's gonna be like a kind of like a relationship drama in like the story. And I really don't want to see something like that, honestly. I don't have a problem with like Lucia or like Jason dating. I have no issue with that. Uh, like, I mean, like, like, I mean, other people. I mean, I just don't want them together being in a relationship uh, because it's like I just feel like it's gonna be like some drama romance story, and I just, I just personally don't want that. Uh, also, it's like. And I, I really hope that Lucia and Jason are something more like, um... I hope there's something more like, um, what should I say, like Nico, Luis, and Johnny, like that style. I don't want it to be like Trevor, Michael, and Franklin style. What I mean by that is I would honestly prefer it if, like, if Jason has his own story, and then Lucia has her own story, and then Lucia has her own antagonist, and Jason has his own antagonist. Like, kind of like the episodes from Liberty City. I'd honestly prefer, like, a story like that, where they, they both have, like, a different storyline. Maybe they have, like, a few missions where they meet each other, but, like, you know, that's it. Like, I, I would like to see something like that. I don't want to... Yeah... The thing, the thing, think about it this way, is that every, every single GTA game, well, not every GTA game, but San Andreas, San Andreas, GTA 4, uh, and GTA 5 have basically had the girlfriend system in. And, like, think about how weird it's gonna be if they add, like, you know, you know, that system in, it's like Jason is gonna cheat on Lucia, or Lucia che cheats on Jason, and then you're playing as, like, both of them. You know, I think that I think that would be kind of weird, though. That's what I personally think. So, like, I have no problem with them, you know, being in relationships and stuff. I just hope they're not together in a relationship because, like I say, I don't want to see any relationship drama. And it's just, um, it, it, it'd be it, if Thank they, you. it'd be it'd be it's kind of weird if they're both in like a relationship together, but then they're both cheating on each other. I just think that'd be kind of weird. So that's like, um. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. Uh. Cheating isn't canon unless it's part of the story. Well, I would debate. I would debate that with you. If if it's for a hundred percent completion, then it's canon. If it's if if you if you like if you need to like if you need to date certain characters to get a hundred percent completion, then it's gonna then that's canon. So that's um uh so that's what I would say. You're my favorite GTA YouTuber. I watch your, um, you every day to make sure I, I don't go broke. And I also watch for entertainment. Much love. I also like your hat. Please notice. Well, thank you. Uh, well, thank you, man. And I really hope they have the narco style drug trade in the game. Missions where you fly cargo to South America as an operation or working for someone like Tony Montana. Oh yeah. I'd like that too. Probably Walter, um, Walter White. But yeah, that's just, that's just what I'm saying is that, look, is that, if, if they are in a relationship together, I, like, there's gonna be a lot of arguing, and it's gonna be, like, a lot of relationship drama, and I don't know if I personally want to deal with that. That's just my opinion on it, personally. So, that's just what I think. Think about it. I mean, like, you know, Michael's conflict with Amanda was, like, I guess that was okay. That was one character, but it, and it wasn't even that big part of a story. It was maybe, like, a small chunk of the story. But it was like if, if Jason and Lucia are like in a relationship, there's you you bet there's gonna be arguments and drama and stuff like that. And I, you know, I I don't know if I want to like you know personally deal with that in the storyline. So I personally I I would prefer if Jason and Lucia were like friends, or like or you know relatives or friends. I don't I don't want them to be like um uh, in a relationship. I think that'd be a bit annoying personally. That's just my opinion on it. Yeah, those are the two characters in GTA 6, Jason and Lucia. Um, Go back to your home, shit, Nick. Your
You're the best and a great person, professional. Thank you, Max. Can we customize a taxi? No, you can't. It's a, you unlock as a Pegasus vehicle from uh, the arena. I wish you could customize a taxi, but no, you can't. Would love an ex-military type protagonist in GTA. Well, Nico was ex-military, though, uh, and Vic Vance was actually ex-military also. Well, they will go to um, uh, to Dr. Friedlander for couples therapy. <laughs> well, Dr. Friedlander, I know, is going to make an appearance in the Drug Wars DLC. Probably want a realistic GTA, but wait until GTA 6 has has taxes and utilities. Well, the thing about GTA 6 is if they add, like, the feature where you have to eat again, I wouldn't mind that. Like, they took that out of San Andreas because so many players were complaining, but I wouldn't mind if they, like, had a system where you have to eat or you have to buy gas. Like, I think taxes and stuff like that would be stupid, but uh, if you have to, like, uh, if you have to, like, eat and, like, you know, drink and then, like, you know, get gas for your car, I wouldn't mind that. I think that'd be unique. I think that'd be a bit different. You'd have to do that in Mafia, too, so it's just... here. Bit of a drive on this one, but we'll get there. This one was a bit annoying, this, this route. Are you worried that your account will be attacked by mothers? Not really, man, because I play on console. So it's, uh, I don't have to worry about that really happening to me. If I was on PC, I'd stop playing immediately, though. Okay, hopefully it doesn't have to go that far.
You can drive now. How much better is the laser compared to the Hydra? Laser is a bit more agile, but Hydra has faster top speed, and Hydra also has hover mode. Thank you, JM. Uh, you can't do modern consoles on PS5. Uh, oh, you can't mod on PS... Or... Yeah, no, I know that. Uh, well, you know, modders, modders aren't on console, but... Modding in general, I think modding in general is illegal. Um, online games, at least. On online games. I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, if, especially if you're doing, like, a mod like what they were doing on, like, you know... On, like, you know, when they were just, you know, getting people banned. Yeah, I'm sure, sure something like that would be, uh... You know, something like that is illegal. Well, uh, Goofy, I lowered I lowered the gold down to 250,000 earlier. I actually asked the chat what they thought. And, uh, you know, m pretty much most of the chat agreed to lower it down to 250,000 because then I'd be doing a stream for 10 hours and just, you know, it's just really unhealthy. Uh, is it dangerous to play GTA right now? On PC, yes. On console, no. You missed my chat in one moment, Isley. I'll look at it. Gracias. Okay, let's see here. In your personal opinion, what do you like about the Xbox 360 and the elements that the Xbox 360 did better than the PlayStation 3 and Nintendo Wii and why? Um... Well, one thing I liked about the Xbox 360 is I liked how you could just plug the con the headset into the controller. PlayStation eventually, they did that design with PS4 and PS5 on their controllers. Um, on Xbox 360, well, PS, yeah, Xbox 360 is one thing I liked. You could plug the, the headset into the controller. Um, they also, well, what else did they do? Uh, well, P PlayStation 3 had free online. That was it. Xbox had voice messages as well. Um, Let's go, please. I... I mean, there are advantages to both consoles. Like, I'll tell you guys, I'm mostly a PlayStation guy, but even though I'm mostly a PlayStation guy, I love my Xbox One too, so I have an Xbox One. And I like the Xbox One because I can play old classic Xbox games backward com compatible on it. So that's what I like about it. The backwards compatibility is like so much better on like Xbox and then PlayStation. Like PlayStation has virtually no backwards compatibility. I mean, it has PS4 games, sure, but Xbox One, you can play uh, you know, you can, you know, Xbox Series X, I think you can play Xbox One, um, uh, Xbox 360 games, and original Xbox games, too. So that's, that's what's, uh, that's what's cool about it. So there's, like, it's, like, I know it's not every game is available, but... I am at Oh, it's right there? Well, why... Thank you, Jam, for the super chat. Have I ever played Ridge Racer 2? No, I haven't. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Well, at least the the pickup was close by, right? 
I'm gonna take forever. Uh, well, we'll, um... We go. We'll get to the, uh... Oh, we'll get to 250,000. Thank you, Mr. Jaden, for subscribing. Gotta drive here, huh? Can you do a Battlefield 3 playthrough? You already have the US Marines outfit from your Modern Warfare series. You could cover the. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do that, yeah. I, I could do that, Antonio. I like the Battlefield 3 storyline a lot better than Battlefield 4 storyline, honestly. Thank you, Antonio. This sucks right now. Look at this. Are you enjoying this? Uh, it's different. It's a nice challenge that I'm doing. It's a different pace. Thank you, thank you so much. I got a customer for you right now. Any advice for Criminal Mastermind Challenge 2 for the Doomsday Heist? Uh any uh Criminal Mastermind Challenge 2 for Doomsday Heist. I did make a video Ah, oh, great. I did make a video on that um uh about four years ago. Check that out though. I did make a pretty good video on that. I hope that it helps you. Yeah, look at the front of this thing. My god. Thank you, DHC. But basically, Criminal Mastermind is actually safer if you do it with two people on, on Doomsday Heist. I know that might sound strange, but the reason it's safer with two people is because you have to worry about less people then.
Yeah, but what do you guys think about the pay on this? Like, you guys have seen me doing this for nearly three hours right now, and I'm only at 112,000. Like, what do you guys think? Not really with four people, it feels easier. Sure, but the thing is, with four people, you have to worry about more people. I made a Doomsday Heist guide, though. Check out my Doomsday Heist guide. Um, look it up on my channel. Just look up Doomsday Heist, and you'll find it. A, I did make a Colonel Mastermind guide, and I think, you'll, I think you will find it helpful. Also, here's another thing about the taxi, guys. When you're in the taxi, you don't pay daily fees, which is actually a really good thing. But the second that you you end the taxi mission, you're going to have a lot of fees to pay. Actually, not bad. Yeah, this is not a bad ride at all. Uh, thank you, Detonator, for subscribing. Thanks, man. Oh, that was close. Oh. This is basically how our GT Online characters retire from a life of crime to become taxi drivers. I don't use a new car because I don't want to end the streak. Go, I would end the streak then if I got a new car.
Okay. Okay, here we go. About half a mile remaining. Good professional. Well, thank you. Thanks, man. Probably better if they had rich NPCs needing taxi occasionally. Yeah, like special clients, that'd be good. Thank you, Caden uh, Stark, Stark, if I'm reading your name correctly. No, there, there isn't a passive taxi business, unfortunately. This is it. it and it, it, guys, don't you think that this is... It, like, I don't mind a taxi business. I don't. But don't you guys think this is a bit weird? Like, adding it now? Like, doesn't it make sense? Shouldn't this have been something that's been in the game since the start? Right, right? Like, this should have been in the start. Like, don't you think it's kind of weird that they added this now? Like, after all the heists and the businesses and all the other stuff? Like... Oh, you guys think it's a bit weird they added it now? And that's that's what I think about it personally. They're a mile and a half now. Yeah, let's wait nine years. <laughs> Yeah, I just think it's personally weird they added the taxis now all of a sudden. I think like this should have been something that's been in the game years ago, not now. this okay thank you xfinity for subscribing thanks man
how do you get the red taxi? Oh, you have to complete the Arena Wars, um, uh, level 25 tier, and you get to get it automatically. Check out my Ultimate Taxi Guide. But, uh, yeah. Okay, drive careful! miles. Pay needs to increase 5 to 10,000, my opinion. Yeah, well, how I think it should work, I think the pay at the start, and thank you, Sec, uh, Tastics, I think that the pay at the start should stay the same, but as you move up through the through the fares, the pay should gradually increase. And I think it should, it, it should keep going up, like the tip should just keep going up like $100 every time. That's just what I personally think. Maybe like 5 in a row or 10 in a row, you get like a bonus, like the old GTA games. But like doing this system, this is, you know, this is bad. Like no one's, no one's going to do tax anymore. Like this is, this is something people are going to do for like a week and then they're not going to do it anymore. We're getting there. Sending you the address now. Oh, they're not that far. bit far though for the drops. I wish I could go back to the city, but I don't want to ruin the streak. left here. Are you looking forward to the Broadway and Eudora Pro? Those two and the uh, 
and the Boer are the cars I'm looking forward to the most in Drip Feed. I mean, I'm not much of a car guy, uh, Mario, but I will say this, though. If those ca vehicles can be used for taxi work, then I'm very interested because they do have taxi deliveries. But if you can't, I think that's personally going to be kind of stupid. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Nearly five miles. Where did where does this guy wanna go? Oh my god. Nearly five miles. Where the hell are you going, buddy? Oh what a drive gonna be, right? Yeah, it's like like it makes no sense the tip is the same for like every long drive. miles now. He wants to go to Tahiti. <laughs> yep. Man, what a far drop. That was just ridiculous. Bro, what is uh, your favorite heist in GTA Online? Um, Kyle Perico heist. Thank you, Krillin. Bless you, Ooh, thank okay. You. That's it. That's 125 there. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. Thank you, J4 and N for subscribing. Thank you, Jennifer, for subscribing too. Thank you, Justice, for subscribing. Hey, hey. How's my mental state? Oh, it's pretty good. It, you know, much better than like you know, you know what I had dealt with in the past. You can but, drive now. Okay, this 1.5 miles. That's not bad. Thank you, Jacob, for subscribing.
Oh, come on. I didn't see that wall. Uh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Thanks. Hopefully I get some fares in the city. Call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. Well, hopefully I don't have to take them an insane distance. Yeah, I should probably unlock a completely cold taxi after doing all of this at this point. Okay, we're getting there. I've got someone for you. Okay, not very close, but not very far either. How can I get the, the cab on GT Online? Oh, well, you have to, um... You have to, uh, uh, you have to complete rank 25 tier in the arena to unlock that. Where does she want me to drop her off? Oh, yeah, I see where she wants you to drop her off. Okay.
yeah, it's are arena is dead, but you can always get some friends to get into it with you. Right and, uh... Yeah. I do think it's worth it. If you want to get the taxi for it, it is worth it for that. But you're going to see more people playing arena now because they want the custom taxi. Too boring. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk to people in the chat, but uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, I know it's, 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 a, it's a different though. That's what I want. I wanted to do a little bit of a different stream. I want to do like a challenge, because more pe people are gonna come back to the stream and they're gonna be like, wow, this guy's a madman. He did like, you know, he did taxi work for like what five hours straight or something like that. So it's just. through there again. Uh, wonderful. Here. Hope I can get eventually get back to the city. Oh, great! Blew off the uh, hood of the car there, but it's okay. Thank you, Anton, for the, for the super chat. But no, I guess I didn't need to go. Uh, ah, great. Rocks. Yeah, I'll get some water in a little bit here. Uh, We're here. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, well, the taxi has lasted me for some time now here. Not too far from you. Sending you the address now. I hope this drop isn't very far.
Okay, this actually isn't that far. There we go. I think I know where the next fair is gonna be. It's probably gonna be right up here. I got a customer for you right now. You think a taxi DLC is illegal work? Yeah, it is. Thank you, um. Thank you, Revan. Stop that chariot! Peace to you. Let's get this chariot in motion! Three miles, okay. A drive then. miles uh oh thank you man I'm gonna look at your comment in just one second here What if J in GTA 6 you can choose whether Jason and Lucia remain just friends or become a couple? I guess they could do something like that. Uh, thank you, Vukodlak, if I'm reading your name correctly. Thank you for the super chat, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't, I didn't think about that. They could do, like, a choice on that. save a little bit of time. God bless you and thank you. Okay, ooh, 75 fares in total. Ooh. This is for your work ethic, mate. You started as a GTA right grinder and became a content grinder, but please don't push yourself to risk your well-being. Well, thank you, Art. I do really appreciate that, man. Yeah, and tomorrow... Tomorrow, um, uh, we're gonna be doing the saboteur stream, and, um, and, uh, but, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday we're gonna, you know, just, I'm just gonna chill on Tuesday, I don't think I'm gonna do anything, it's just relax that day, uh, just had a lot of stuff to do lately, but thank you for the, um, thank you for your support, and thank you guys for worrying about my health, I do really appreciate that, you guys are awesome.
shortcut here. Cut through this. Saves a little bit of time, too. Approaching 140,000. We're getting there. Thank you, Sir Bats Gaming. Thanks, man. Finally, we're back in the city. Maybe I'll actually start having some easier drops because I've had some really bad country drops lately and it's been really irritating. Did my 10 taxi rides? Never want to do it again. <laughs> yep, I, I get you, man. I don't think I'm gonna do taxi for a very long time after today. This is actually good. We're going to the southern part of the city, so hopefully I stay in the city from now on. Yeah, city drops are just so much better than everything else. And I know a lot of shortcuts here, so. God bless you and thank you. I've got someone for you. Oh, up there, okay. How you doing? Been okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, 110,000 left. Oh, I'm, go I'm going up to 250000 That's what I'm going to. $250,000. You can drive now. I'm definitely getting past 100 fares. Thank you, Phantom, for subscribing. So you guys see, city, even when it's a few miles, it's still way better than, um... Yeah. Way better than the country ones.
gracias. Taxi missions for like fucking lessons, huh? Right now. Hey, what's going on, brother? Well, we're getting there. Uh, I just hope I stay in the city. Just please don't take me to Sandy Shores or outside anymore. Okay, I like the city drop so much more. So no long routes, yes? Strong chance they might take me back to the sandy shores after this. Hope that's not the case. Oh my God. What does he gotta do going all the way up there? Okay. Strange place to go, but whatever. Point. Okay, half a mile left. I know a lot of shortcuts. Thank you. There we go. Ooh, man. Yeah, I lowered it. I lowered it to two hundred fifty thousand earlier because I asked the chat what they think. Because I will be streaming for ten hours. Because I didn't. I didn't real. It was my mistake, guys. I apologize for that. I just didn't realize just just how long like it would take because I because I thought that most of the drops would be like close by but then when I was going to the city and, and like outside the city it was like three three four miles per drop it was getting ridiculous so that that was that's what it would have been yeah I bet after GTA 6 launches, we get a GTA 7 clickbait. Oh, yeah. Probably a year or two after it, though. We'll probably get it then at that point. Thank you, Revan. I kind of predicted where the next one is already here.
about to hit a. Uh, yeah. About to hit 150,000. Where do you want to go here? Okay, yeah. I got a better idea. Maybe just 200,000. No, I want to go for 250. It's like a goal that I really want to hit. Yeah, the taxi is not, you know, the best of shape right now. Hey, professional, I currently have GTA Online on my PC, but... Given the current state of the PC service, I switched to console, need your opinion. Um, I wouldn't buy a console just so you could play GTA. If you have a console already, maybe, you know, would be worth it. Wait till GTA is on sale and get it then. But I think eventually, I think they're gonna, Rockstar is going to be forced to fix this. Because I don't, I don't see how they can't fix this. They're going to they're gonna have to fix this. And th thank you, Ari, for that super, uh, super chat. What currency is that, if you mind me asking? I don't think I've seen that currency before. Thank you for the super chat. There we go. 148. Oh, Malaysian ring, ring, ring it? Oh, okay. I got a job going right now. Can you add me in your friends list? I am a grinder. Well, I, I could try to add you, Ayan, but there's just a lot of people on my friends list right now. My friends list at the moment, I believe, is full. But I... I tell me, what is your PSN anyways? Uh... It's actually not that bad.
Have I tried the first those missions on hard? No, I haven't, Mario. How bad are they? Thank you. 150,000. 100,000 left to go. We'll get there. Call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. Does anybody else have the patience to do this, what I'm doing right now? Like, this long for, like, driving the taxi for three hours? Hello. Thank you, Fenario. Thank you for subscribing. And off we go. No, thank you, Sam Say, for subscribing, too. If I could listen to music, well, I can't listen to music because it's copyright. They're going to claim the stream. Okay, I'll read your super chat in this one moment here. Let me just drop her off. Thank you so much. Let me see here. Uh, just got done with The Walking I've Dead Season 1 from Telltale Games, man. What game y'all, after all, all these years, it, it still made me cry. Anyways, how are you? Hello. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mo Raccoon. Thank you for the uh, super chat. I did play that one. I played Season 1 and Season 2. I never played Season 3 and Season 4. But, uh... Yeah, I remember. I remember the ending to that game with Lee. I remember what happens to him. Yeah, that that's that ending is really sad. But I I actually believe it or not, I've never cried in a video game. I never have. Uh, the only time that I have actually gotten really close to crying, I was about to. Um, it wasn't even Red Dead, but uh, the only time that I was actually closer to uh, close to crying in a video game was Call of Duty World at War. Uh, in, in Call of Duty World at War, the, the ending of Call of Duty World at War always disturbed me. And that was just it. It was just that it was like, you know, Call of Duty World at War was like the best World War II game that I ever played. And it was like at the very end of it where it has that like really creepy music and then the screen goes black and it just says that like 60 million lives were lost as a result of World War II. It was the most devastating conflict in human history and that's like the last message that you see with like the creepy music playing. That that always like, you know, bothered me knowing that this was like a real conflict that's happened. It was the worst war in human history and uh, you know, it just that that just always, you know, got me a bit upset. I cry at the end of Infinite Warfare. Well, hello, Cass Sandys. I remember you've been on my channel for a very long time. How are you, man? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, but, uh... But I, I never played Infinite Warfare, so I don't know the ending of that one.
Here we go. Many thanks. Okay, let me see here. Uh, There's a job oh, I'm right now. I'm really sorry for your, for your loss, ESP. I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about that, man. Uh, I don't think the taxi even takes you on the trail. Yeah, I know the taxi, well, there are certain places it will never drop you off in. I remember uh, tearing up when you were playing Hitman 3. Yeah, but I didn't cry on Hitman 3. I know what you're talking about on Hitman 3. Uh, I uh, uh, I was a bit upset on that part, but I didn't uh, I didn't cry. I know, I remember the scene. It was with uh, Diana, I remember when she, t when she knocked 47 down, I remember that part. And that was like the, that was like the only, like, that was one of the few times where you actually saw 47 display some emotion, which that's why, that's why that scene kind of got to me. Because it's one of the few times that you actually saw him show any kind of emotion. Kevin, well, you can still call me Golden, though. Um, uh, well, thank you. Is there a secret award at 500? Uh, no, there's not nothing really. Hopefully this takes me back to the city. I hope that. Uh, thank you, Bridges Parmer. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, uh, Ryan Nisk. Thanks, thanks, man. And thank you, Life. Uh, life done. Thank you. Thank you for the, um, for subscribing. Oh, this is near Devin's house. Okay. this stuff here. Thank oh, you. There we go. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Now let me see here. Uh... Yeah, going for 250,000, but we'll hit it. Um, probably you missed a lot of my comments again. I'm really sorry, Swift. There's a lot of people that are posting, but what you should do, though, instead of telling me that I missed your comments, just post your comment again, and eventually I'll see it. Uh, OK. 
Okay. We've been streaming for nearly four hours, damn. Okay. Oh, he sometimes comes by the streams, um, uh, Kaz. Love your content. Keep it up. Love from Sweden. Thank you, all things in gaming. Thanks, man. Let's get this chariot in motion. And ESP, are you are you still here by any chance, man? Okay, 1.50 here. Oh, come on, no. Uh, almost 100 fares. Yeah, we're getting close. Thank you, Daniel, for subscribing. Yeah, I remember you, you've you been on my channel for a very long time, for many years, uh, ESP2. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, cool. Uh, you've been here since, like, 2017 or 2018, I think. Um, yeah, Taxi, uh, thank you for the support, and thank you for, you know watching my channel for so long and everyone else who has uh you know been been with me for some time thank thank everyone and everyone just who comes by and watches thank you guys uh, my favorite character from the walking dead tv show um i'd say probably negan yeah he was probably my favorite character but like i started getting annoyed by a lot of the main characters in the show Right now. Oh, that's 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 that is pretty far away from me. Ninety-three thousand dollars left. Hi. Yeah, you've been here very long too, um, uh, uh, uh Kaz. Yeah, you've been here before, like, I took off on GTA. I remember when I used to do, like, streams and I'd have, like, maybe one or two people come by and I remember you were there. Uh, do you think the current state of, um, of game journalism is ruined? I heard someone got shut out of the industry once because they were a libertarian. What? Well, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's discrimination, though, kind of. If you... If you if you you can't fire somebody for their political viewpoints, so I don't think there's really you know protections for that. But you know if somebody's like you know libertarian, there's nothing wrong with being a libertarian. And so it's just uh, you know that's uh, you know firing somebody for being yeah then no, that's uh, you know that that person probably should sue. Thank you, Mario. Have I ever been recognized in public? Thank you, Express. Um, uh, have I been recognized in public? Uh, yes, uh, two times. Two times it has happened before. Um, one time, it was like a, a few years ago. It was when I was at a, um, uh, I was at a, a bank, and I was making a savings account with, with my mom. And I remember that the banker, like, remember he, like, he said to me, he's like, he's like, your voice sounds familiar. He's like, do you, he's like, do you do YouTube videos? And I said yes. And then he's like, he's like, oh, you're the GTA Money Guide guy. Yeah, I watch your videos. That was that was um that was one time I could get recognized in public. I was at a bank, I remember. And the second time that I did get recognized in public was um it was about two years ago. It was at a Best Buy, 
and basically I was trying to buy a new printer and I asked this one guy, I asked him, I asked him like, do you, um, uh, do you know where the printers are? And he showed me and then he asked me, by any chance are you the professional? And he looked like him and I said, yeah, I am. And then he's like, that's really cool. Uh, but then he said, I have to get back to work. Uh, Any advice to clear out a gaming backlog? What do you mean by gaming backlog, Mr. Waifu? Okay, let's see here, okay. About to be 160,000 here. But the thing is though, guys, is being recognized in public is both a cool and a scary thing. Because you could be recognized in public by somebody who doesn't like you. And, uh, you know, that can be a scary thing. done. It's like 90,000 left, but, you know, it's still gonna be a little bit of time, but we're getting there. From getting backlog pro, I mean, like, games I want to play, but I haven't played yet. Oh, what I would do if I was you is I would play one game at a time, because if you start playing a little bit of each game, you're never gonna finish it. Play one game at a time, focus on that game for some time, and finish it. That's what I tended to do. When I have free time, I will, I will, when I have free time, when I'm not recording videos, uh, I will generally play like a game and I'll play that same game for like a few weeks and finish it. And then I'll just move on to another game. That's just typically what I do. Where'd you get the hat, bro? Oh, this hat, I got this on Amazon a long time ago. my chat I'll look in a little bit Isaiah hold on God bless you and thank you fucker hey scumbag what's up this is dispatch I got a job going right now you ain't gonna be working what the what's their problem literally I just parked there these some people right There's a bunch of journalists who gatekeep the industry, and anyone who isn't, oh, so anyone who doesn't agree with their politics, um... Let's go, please. ...doesn't get, like, uh, yeah, I can see that happening, um, I, I, Mario. Yeah, like, I think, you know, you know, you know, journal, gaming journalism especially should stay, stay out of politics. Like, I don't know why people would get into politics. I don't know if you guys remember, remember when I, uh, did a video on that Kotaku story? Where it was like they were they were saying that Modern Warfare 2 was like racist. Like you guys remember that? It was like the the, the Modern Warfare 2 game that just came out. And p for people wondering what are the, what what where, where did they accuse it of being racist? So for anybody who played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, you guys remember the mission where you play as Alejandro? It's like early in the game. You play as Alejandro and um, uh, you play as his buddy Rudy, and you're just um you're you're you you go across like the Mexican American border. And then, like, you go into Texas, and then there's, like, that part when the police stop you. And, like, basically, Kotaku was saying that Modern Warfare 2 was, like, racist because it was racial profiling Alejandro. But the thing about that is that that had literally not... Abs that scene had nothing to do with racial profiling whatsoever. Basically, what happened was you ha Alejandro and Rudy were breaking into multiple houses. There was multiple houses they were breaking into. They had tactical vests on. They had, you know, guns drawn, and on top of that, there was cartel members that were breaking into other houses, and they were shooting at them, and there was already been a shootout a few blocks away. 
And so that scene had nothing to do with racial profile. That, that exact same scene would have happened in real life. It's like the police, the second the police see somebody running around with a gun and like a vest, they're going to stop them. Even if they don't know exactly who they are, they're going to stop them. And so that's exactly why the police, uh, you know, stopped Alejandro and Rudy because they didn't know who they were. They asked them to identify themselves. That's why, uh, you know, they were stopped. It had nothing to do with racial profiling in that scene, the Modern Warfare 2 scene. But the, the gaming journalists kept saying that it was racial profiling. It wasn't racial profiling. It was like, yeah, two guys that were running around breaking into houses, and there was like a shootout with a cartel. There's police people are going to call the cops. That's going to happen. Um, and also, when, when, when the cop says that we, we can't tell you guys apart from the cartel, what he that, I don't think that that was a racial comment either. What he basically meant is that the cartel are like dressed like, almost like soldiers. Like, they have body armor on, they have helmets, they have assault rifles, you know, so that's that's really what I think the cop meant by that. I don't think that it was, like, a ra uh, a racial comment, but Kotaku kept turning into one. And so that's, um, yeah, that was that scene. Are you ah, your great. Mind? Now press for Mark III coming to a server near you, huh. <laughs> Well, thank you, Express. Thank you, Expert. Uh, you should cosplay Heisenberg? Who's Heisenberg? Thank you for the, uh, super chat. Uh, I'm not apologizing, uh, uh for the YouTubers who I, I recommended that, uh, make videos on Kotaku that might be controversial. Never... Oh, okay. Well, like, I, I, I just don't know, like, with Kotaku, for instance, like, you know, why they go crazy with, like, a lot of this stuff. Like, like what I was talking about earlier, guys. It just didn't make sense to me. But, like, you know, when I played that Modern Warfare 2 scene, I, I didn't see anything racist in it. And so I didn't know what, they were, so what they were talking about exactly. But, okay, 165,000. We're getting closer. I've got someone for you. Thank you, Mr. Waifu. Hey, pro. Hope you're having a good day. Um, a quick question. What's the fastest way to level up on the Naturals role in Reddit Online on Xbox? Thank you, Clutch. Um, I think that to level up the Naturalist role, um, I think it would be just to sell the collections to Harriet. That's what I think it would be, right? When you sell the, the samples to her, like in the... When you sell the samples to her, like when they're together, I'm pretty sure that that... Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that that will give you more, um, uh, you know, a ton of, you know, Naturalistic speed. Thank you for the super chat, Clutch. Hey, Pro, how are you? I'm good. How are you, man? I watch Robert uh, Lewandowski. Um, uh, oh, you're talking about the, so the Polish soccer player? I've seen him play before. I don't follow him, though. Damn, been streaming for four hours, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Right. Crazy, right? Opinion on clothing glitches in GTA. Heisenberg is the main uh, main guy's pseudonym in the show Breaking Bad. He probably refers to that. Oh, okay. Helion. Uh, opinion on clothing glitches in GTA. Um, I have no issue with clothing glitches as long as it's not any of the invisible ones. If it's like where you can't see their legs or, you know, their arms or something like that, I'm completely against that. But if it's like where you want to put like a hat on a mask or a duffel bag... I have no issue with that whatsoever. I have one glitched outfit where I have like a, um, uh, I have a hat on a mask because I just really like that outfit. That was just it. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm against like, you know, any kind of like, you know, glitched outfit where you can't see like part of the person. I think that's stupid at that point. But, you know, we should be able to put hats on top of masks. So I don't see the issue in that really.
90 fares. Wow, look at that. We're getting there, guys. We're gonna get to that 250,000. We'll get there. You know, $83,000 left. Top five on my favorite outfits? Possibly. I have like an idea on a top five GTA 4 video that I want to make recently. We're gonna have to go through the mountains again. Wonderful. Oh wait, no, I don't think we are actually going through the mountains. We're going through. Okay. Did anyone hear about uh, Magfest putting Kotaku's journalistic integrity as 404 not found? Uh, it was so funny. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That was the. Uh, yeah, they got really upset about that. It was like a sign they put. I know what you're talking about. Yes. No, no, no. God bless you and thank you. Glenn's eyeball was the best character in The Walking Dead. Well, thank you, CD. You know something? I'll tell you. That show got like. The Walking Dead got really stupid at times. It really did. Like, it was like. Oh, great. Falling down here. Ah. There was, like, a lot of episodes in The Walking Dead where it honestly felt like filler to me. Like, it was just filler for, like, a season. It wasn't, like, even, like, you know, there was really no purpose to, like, the episode. Like, some of the episodes, they dragged them out. Like, they had no story to them. They were just, just filler content. But it was the, um... There, there was that scene with Glenn in the dumpster. In the that was the worst scene ever. Like, out of all the scenes in The Walking Dead, the worst scene was the dumpster scene. That was, that was so bad. That was such a bad scene. Okay, Ayan. Um... Thank you for uh, thank you for telling me. I will try to add you uh, pro probably tomorrow. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was kind of funny, Mario. Oh, come on. Four and a half miles. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Oh, uh, well, here we go, then.
I think the dumpster scene was that bad. I think it was in The Walking Dead. The thing is, though, is that... I'll tell you something. The Walking Dead has done that so many times where you think a character has died and they don't die. And they just, they just do, like a, like, a cliffhanger thing. And it's like every single time, if I don't see a character's body... From, like, I, I know the character's alive. It's gotten so annoying at that point. Thank you, Helion. Thank you for the super chat, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Take me back to the city. I hope it takes me back to the city. Okay. YouTube uh, deletes my text if I put a smiley at the end. Watch out. Um, okay. Well, th thank you for telling me. Uh, thank you for telling me, Helion. And, uh, and how do you know Helion? They did, Helion? Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Almost almost there. Uh call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. Oh great, down there. Taxi has been through a lot. Come on, the okay, yeah, this barrier was here blocking the entire time. Taxi smoking? I don't think so. Let's go, please. There's no way for me to repair it.
What's that? Why is that person over there mad at me? Okay. Going right now. Great over there. I'm gonna have to cut through a lot of stuff to get over there. Ah. For all you can make the goal by other meat, uh, other ways. It's painful for the human spirit. No, man. I want. I. I. I gave people my word that I would hit two fifty thousand. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit two fifty. You can't use pay and spray during this. It doesn't work. When you're out of the tax mission, sure, but I don't want to end my streak. No, it's okay, GT online. Oh, this is really close. The Waffle House has found its new host? What, what, do, what do you mean, Edgy? Wait, what? dollars there okay nice on that one there's a job near you right now love your content pro do you think rockstar should add boat storage maybe the aircraft carrier to gt online seems like the last thing they missed when it comes to owning vehicles thank you nick and thank you or gev a uh, sing for subscribing um i will say that rockstar should add uh they should add, uh, the, they should eventually add, like, a, you know, something like a naval update. Something like Smuggler's Run, but I want to see on the water, something like that. I would. Because people say that the water is boring, but that's because there's nothing to do on the water. So, you know, if they actually had boats, and like, like, they had a boat business, and they had stuff to do on the water, there would be. that insanely far what time is it for you professional 2 207 a.m
There we go. Ooh. Let me look, Isaiah. Uh, what about the time you almost cried when Brad from Dead Rising died and, and turned into a zombie, or in Last of Us when Joel lost his daughter? Well, I didn't cry over, um, you know, The Last of Us One and Dead Rising One. I was kind of a little sad over that, but I never, I never have cried in these games. There's sure I've been sad in these games, but I never cried uh, in these games. Okay, 96 fares. We're about to hit 100 fares, too. For you right now. Yeah, I figured that's where the, they were going to be. Hello? Taxi? Will I ever do a playthrough with Dying Light? Maybe one day. Hello. Uh, I, I never finished the first game. What's your thoughts on what's go. happening on GTA on PC? It's stupid. Like, Rockstar has no idea what they're doing. Okay, so $70,000 left, guys. Um. Wow, the cars in San Andreas have really good gas mileage. I haven't had, I haven't had, haven't had to go to the gas station, been in the same car for five hours. Shout out to you, pro. Enjoy your content. Keep it up. Thank you, Chuck. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Good night, Pat. Hope you get yourself some rest. Well, thank you, uh, Pat.
peace to you. Let's get this chariot in motion. See about cutting across here. Two more fares to a hundred. Wow. Bless you and thank you. Okay. Will I do a play for a Dead Rising 2? Yes, I'll do that one day. Call just came in. Up on your Pearl must be like, why did I think of doing this? No, I don't regret doing this. Uh, the only thing I regretted is that I had the goal of 500,000 originally because I thought that the, it would only be like a mile, uh, two miles like at most, but I didn't think they'd take me to the countryside like and just be such, but I, I made it to 250,000 instead, like Chad agreed earlier, so sorry about that original goal, but no, it was it was a fun stream, it's, uh, you know, enjoying doing it, um, so, you know, we're almost there, almost at 250,000, just gotta keep pushing it a little bit and we'll, we'll get there. Thank, uh, thank you, um, uh, Galil. Thanks, man. Oh, I haven't played the God of War games, uh, so I can't really form an opinion on that. Chad is asking your thoughts on God of War Ragnarok. Thank you, Oblivion, for the uh, super chat. But it, I, I heard that it was really good, but I... I don't know much about the games. I just know the guy you play as is Kratos, and uh, you fight a lot of the other, you know, Greek gods, but I don't know much about that, though, guys. God bless you, and thank you. Hey! No! This is Dispatch. I got a job going right now. You edit your own videos? Yes, I edit all of my own videos. No one edits them for me. Thank you, um, uh, uh, a Annex. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the super chat. I mean, thank you for subscribing. Are you okay? Yeah, I was a little exhausted, but I'm, uh, 
And thank you, X Never, for subscribing. A little exhausted, but I, uh, I'll be fine. Thank you, Micro, for uh, subscribing. Do you think Astro Soup will ever come back? I don't know what the, the thing about him was. Um, I don't know what happened. It's none of my business. Um, uh, it isn't. Uh, but, you know, uh, the only thing I'll say about it is that people were, like, people were, like, obsessed with finding out what happened to him. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe he just didn't want to do YouTube anymore. Maybe that was just it. Maybe he just wanted some privacy. Maybe that's what it was about. I don't know. Because I feel, I feel like, I feel like if he got hacked or something bad happened to his channel, he would have just probably made a backup channel and then he would have made, like, a video explaining what happened. That's probably it. But maybe he just wanted to stop YouTube. Maybe that was it. That's at least what I thought about it. But it was, um, but, you know, people, people kept, like, bothering him and, like, trying to find out what happened, and I don't know. Maybe he wanted some privacy, because he hadn't responded to people, so maybe that's what it was about. I mean, at least he could have, you know, made, maybe make a, made a video explaining what happened, but, uh, you know, that's at least, you know, what I thought of the situation. I don't know, like I said, so I don't want to judge. Um, do you think there will be a game industry crash? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh. Okay. 101 fair is done. Van is here too, okay. Hello? Taxi? Hello. No, I don't really listen to Polish music. And off we go. Thank you, Sparky, for the super chat. I will reply in just one moment. Just let me just drop off the passenger here. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, Sparky. Hey, Pro, love your videos. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you, Sparky. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the what about a game industry now. crash, um, uh, uh, Revan, you were asking me earlier. I, I don't know if there really will be one. The thing is, though, if anything, something might happen with Ubisoft. Um, because, you know that game Skull and Bones? They've been working on that game for years and years and years, and it just constantly gets delayed. And it was actually taken off the PlayStation Store the other day, and it was get, and they sent out refunds to people. So that's what I'll. Uh, something might happen with Ubisoft, but you know something? That Skull and Bones game. I'll tell you it. It seems cool, but do you know what my biggest problem with that game is? 
that there there's no third person combat like you can't pick up a musket and shoot it, it it's just all it is is just ship combat like there there is a little bit of third person gameplay but it's just like where you walk around like trading shops that's it like why is there no third person like fighting like you know blades or anything like that uh it's just you can drive now Let's read chat in just one moment here, guys. Let me just drop him off. Why is my total earned on there? I'm a little confused. My total earned is 187,000, but then I have 189,000. How does that make any sense? Where did that extra money come from? Uh, does anybody know where that extra money came from just now? Uh... I'm trying to hit 250,000. I got a customer for you right now. Skull and Bone should have been expanded on a sad screen Black Flag amazing game. Yeah, well, I think that the melee needs a revamp though. Like like I wouldn't have minded a sad screen Black Flag ship combat since that was already so good. But what they should have just done is just change the fighting system instead. Like give us something like Mountain Blade fighting system. That would be good. Bro, can you talk about history? Well, I need a specific topic to talk about though. Uh, is there a topic you want me to talk about? Uh You got 2,000 for good good sport? Oh, good. Hello? Oh, okay. I'm not a tourist, so no long routes, yes? 189,000, okay. I need 61 grand left. Okay, it's up near the observatory up there. Hey, pro. Hey, hey, guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know the taxi's in bad condition. I know. Thanks. I've got someone for you. Hey, pro. Do you prefer the PS5 or the Xbox, and why? Yes, but it's not for any specific reason. It's just because I'm a PlayStation guy and most of my friends play on PlayStation. That's just pretty much it. There's no other reason really for it. Um,
I really hope she doesn't make me go up the hill. Let's go, please. Oh, where? Where do you want to go? It's three and a half miles. Okay, I got fifty-nine thousand dollars left to to make. We're getting there. We're close, guys. Thank you, Jared, for subscribing. Thank you for that uh, super chat there, uh, Jordan Ray. Thanks, man. Yeah, but it's just I just ultimately prefer PS5. But I do understand there's benefits to Xbox, though. I'm not, you know, fanboy. I know that like Xbox, like you know, the backwards compatibility on it is just so much better than like PlayStation's backwards compatibility. game on the PC a little bit, not much. No, you're 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 fine, Mr. Wait. Was everything okay? I'm going to 250,000. That's my goal. Have you had a repeat routes yet? I think a few right times now. yet. I think I've, I've had the same route before. Isn't it kind of strange, guys? I played nearly five hours in GTA Online without committing one crime. Maybe traffic violations at most, speeding. But, or maybe actually some accidents, but, you know, nothing major. Uh, you know, I played GTA Online for five hours, and I haven't killed anyone, pulled out a gun, or hijacked a car. Do you think you'll move to another state again? No, I like it where I moved to. Thank you, David, for the super chat. Yeah, I'm still alive. Uh, I'll read Super Chats in just one moment, guys. I'm still getting a little tired, too, so I'm sorry if I'm just not too fast.
But how strange is this, watching like a five-hour GTA um, online stream and not killing anyone, right? Not committing any crimes, really. I gotta pick up not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Yeah, it's the same car the whole time. Um, hey, Pudding. Thank you, David, for that super chat. Uh, and thank you, uh, King James. I play some games on the PC, but not a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, uh, I'm s Hey, professional, I love your videos, man. Do you know if Reddit Online is safe to play on PC, or should I avoid it for now? Thank you, Jared. Um, thank you, Jared Swanson. Thanks for the super chat, man. As far as I know... As far as I know, Reddit Online on PC has problems, um, with cheaters, but I- I don't think it's as bad as GTA, uh, you know, online, where they can spawn a mod menu that can ban you. However, though, have you heard about the- the- the chest of doom? Basically, in um, in Reddit Online, uh, thank you, Nasco, for subscribing. In Reddit Online, there's a mod where modders will spawn chests. And if you open one of the chests the modders spawn, you can get banned. And so the chests will have like a million dollars and thousands of gold bars, and you'll get banned if you open these chests. So that's like, um, but like in GT Online, they can just ban you when they feel like it, at least mod menus, but... What's up, professional? Hey, hey, real life, what's up, man? Thank you, David, for the super chat. Tips on staying patient and not being mad? Well, what I, what I, what I do is, um, uh, you know, to avoid, you know, get, you know, to avoid getting mad, you think about it this way, what are you gonna get out of getting mad? Like, getting mad isn't gonna really, you know, do anything for you. It's not gonna help you, necessarily. And, you know, I, I worked in retail, so I worked for, you know, several years with, like, you know, uh, customers that were very, like, nasty to me, not very nice to me. And so that was just, uh, yeah. I've worked with some really nasty, really nasty customers, but I just learned to have patience over time and just... Okay, 53,000 left. Okay, talk about the Falklands War or the Vietnam War. Um, well, Falklands, that was when Argentina tried to take over the Falkland Islands. You know, Argentina never had any claim to those islands. It was that the islands were... Um, the islands were, you know, settled by Britain even before Argentina became a country, and the majority of the people on the island always wanted to be part of, on the islands wanted to be part of Great Britain, they didn't want to be part of Argentina, but the dictatorship in Argentina tried to take the island over. 
they didn't expect the British response. They probably they, they probably just expected the British to just uh, just just let them have it, but they didn't let them have it. Yeah, that war that war pretty much led to the end of the dictatorship in Argentina. Uh, Yeah, and, and uh, don't get mad, get even. Well, uh, like uh, reading your comment there. Well, what I'll say is, look, if you guys if you guys are ever dealing with a bully, like you know somebody's that ma that's making fun of you and like um, you know just not overall nice to you, the best way to make that bully angry is to be successful. That's really this, the th best thing you gotta do is just be successful, make more money than them, have a better job than them, uh, you know, do better in life than them, and then the bo that bully will get really mad. Just subscribe. Well, thank you for subscribing. Um, it's uh, it's it's Manuel. Cool. Let's go. Wait, how long did it take to get to five hundred thousand? Well, we're going to two hundred fifty thousand, not five hundred thousand. So, we got fifty one thousand left. Um, I was gonna I was gonna go for five hundred thousand originally, but I didn't realize how long some of the routes were gonna take me. Oh, they're really far up north. Man, you'd think they'd spawn somebody closer, right? Can you talk about the 1971 Bangla? Bangladesh Liberation War. Thank you, Homing Fuel. I don't know much about that conflict. I'm pretty sure... Is that the conflict where Bangladesh became an independent country? Because what I know about Bangladesh is I know that Bangladesh used to be part of Pakistan and they wanted independence and then Pakistan didn't want to give it to them. And I think it's Bangladesh is mostly, mostly Sikh religion. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, right? And uh, Pakistan is uh, mostly Islamic and so was that you know, Bangladesh just wanted independence from uh, from Pakistan, and uh, Pakistan didn't want to give, give give it to them. And then there was a war over that. Am I am I on the right track on that, or? Oh, I'm sorry if I pronounced the country wrong. I um. It's awesome that you did a saboteur play for. Can't believe it's been 13 years since the game came out. Keep up the great content, man. Thank you, hates me, Scott. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Um. Okay. We're really close to the end here. Do you know enough about Yugoslavia? I know a bit about Yugoslavia. Uh, I know that they, um, Yugoslavia, we used to be called the Kingdom of Croats, um, Serbs, and, um, uh, Bo Bosnians, was it? Kingdom of Croats, Serbs, and I think that's what the full name of the, the, the country was. Uh, but what happened with, uh, 
with uh, Yugoslavia is the reason that they formed as a country was so that they could defend themselves from the larger powers because they were all smaller countries and the larger powers would take advantage of them. Like, you had Austria, hung uh, Hungary, you had Italy, um, you had the Ottomans, they would constantly pick on them. And so that's why they formed their that, that country, one country together, so that they could protect themselves. But the, the really sad thing about it is in the end, they ended up fighting each other. Kingdom of Croats, uh, Slovenes, and Macedonians. Okay, that was, yeah. It was, you know, you had Serbia, you had Montenegro, you know, Croatia, um, you know, Macedonia, Slovenia. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. I believe what really sparked the Bangladesh Liberation War was the 1970 Bola Cyclone, which killed around half a million right people. Now. Oh, I, I didn't know about that, Mario. Thank you for the super chat. You should become a teacher pro and cosplay the art of history you'll teach. <laughs> Where did you learn about these countries' histories? I just read a lot. Online, usually. Bro, I missed a super chat, did I? I'm sorry if I did. Top five favorite games of all time, Oblivion. Um, Skyrim. Saints Row 2. Uh, GTA 4. Fallout 3. Uh, and Call of Duty World at War. From what games, Felix? Okay, 45,000. We're almost there. Did I change the numbers from 500,000 to 50? Yes, I did. Uh, halfway through the stream, we kind of voted on it. And, um, because I didn't realize how long it was going to take me, and I asked people what they fought, and people agreed to change it to 250,000. Because I made it 500,000, because I originally thought that I was going to be able to do everything in the city. And the city isn't that, you know, that bad. But then it constantly kept taking me to the countryside, and I had, like, four-mile drives, and that's about what, what happened, basically, with that. Almost there. One mile left. Oh no. Damn. That driver just had to be there, didn't he? Thank you, um, uh, day a year, if I'm pronoun pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you for subscribing, man. gate early God bless you and thank you 
Do you think it would add to the game to maintain your vehicle, like, you know, gas? Yeah, I think that would be... I think that would be cool. I would support that, generally. Um, I would like realism, like, you know, stuff. Like, you know, having to eat and stuff like that. I did like playing, you know, Skyrim on realistic mode. You know, I did like playing that where I had to eat and sleep. Uh, Thank you, Lenny. So basically, we work for Franklin with a taxi mission because in story mode, Franklin owns downtown Cabo. Kind of funny. Yeah, I guess. Technically, we work for Franklin. You got you got a point there. I got a bad feeling about this. This is taking me out of the city. Seven thousand four forty three thousand forty three thousand left. We're almost there. Thank you, Dalmatian fan, for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, the super chat. Thank you! This is Dispatch. I got a job going right now. What? Seriously? You, the person I have to pick up is three miles away from me. Ridiculous. Yeah, we're at five hours right now, but we're almost at the end, guys. We're so close to the end. My god, three-mile drive just to pick the guy up, and then he's probably going to want me to drive him for four miles at this point. Thank you, um, uh, Wickedest. Thank you for subscribing, man. to him. At least there's that, right? Uh, yes, I did hear about that. Uh, that was a very long time ago, um, Edgy. Hi. 
Thank you for subscribing. Uh, okay, late. Almost there. Thank, thank you for subscribing to uh, Miss. Mid. I'm sorry, Miss Tired is reading these, these names. Ti Titus? Titus, thank you for subscribing. Thirty-nine thousand left. We're almost there. I've got someone for you. Imagine trying to do this in the public server. Yeah, I wouldn't make it through ten fairs. close um, to the end guys really close or near Floyd and Devers apartment remember I remember when I was driving around here recording my lore video too for it and Michael Trevor and Brad lore video will also be out later this week Check stats for total miles driven when you're done. What is it? Am I able to look at for a specific vehicle, or just uh, or just in general for everything? Accidents. I'm uh, I'm at thirty nine thousand dollars away from the two fifty goal. Oh man.
get some rest, bro. I will when I finish this. Thank you, Junior, for subscribing. Thank you, uh, uh, Jake, Jakes, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you for subscribing. Here we go, okay. Ooh. What level are you in Arena War? 38, I believe. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Okay, I'll see you, Ghost Yoda. Take care, man. Oh, we're almost near the end, guys. Oh, long night, right? Yeah. Let's get this cherry. Oh, very easy fare. I mean, they could have easily made it so bad by having you get attacked by the... Uh, read your comments one moment here. 
Trying to get get here before the bonus expires. Uh, here uh i mean they could have really made it so uh made it so bad by having to get attacked by the passenger's enemies and the fair goes down right and eats damage done by them yeah no like rockstar they could have done something stupid like that too okay thirty two thousand left thirty two thousand dollars left in fares to get and since we're in the city this is making it pretty easy now too Thank you, Adam, for subscribing. Thank you, I am Hero, for subscribing too. Thanks, man. There Thank we you go. So much. I subscribed a long time ago, Pearl. Thank you, Adam. Uh, There's a job near you right now. Remember back in your mental health video about why you don't laugh? What about the part you laugh so hard where you experience a lot of the GTA San Andreas remake glitch and destroy all humans to play from? I look. I. If you compare if you compare me to most other people though, Isaiah, is I laugh a lot less than most other people. That is true. I don't laugh a lot. Some people, you know, make comments and say you don't laugh a lot. It is true. I don't. Uh, there are things I will laugh at, but it's it, there's you know it, it it it's 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 uh, I don't laugh as much as the, a lot of other people. That is what I'm getting at. So there are certain things I'll find funny, but I'm only gonna laugh at something that I find truly funny. Like I'm not gonna pretend to laugh at something or you know make stupid jokes. Like there's a lot of really cringy YouTubers out there where they just uh, they make like really dumb jokes or they're constantly like, putting on a personality. But I highly doubt they're like that off camera. Uh, okay, thirty thousand. Okay, that's about uh, fifteen fares left to go. And we'll complete this. We'll have this done. Okay, 
I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I will only laugh when I find something funny, guys. And it's like, you know, I see these pe these people sometimes come to my channel and they say to me, they say to me, oh, you're not funny. Well, like, I'm not trying to be funny. Um, I'm just, I, I am who I am. So, you know, who I am off camera is the same thing, same person that I am on camera. There's really virtually no difference. So it's like, there's a, you know, I don't put on a personality. I don't pretend to be somebody that I'm not. And if, you know, if... If not putting on a personality means I get less views, well, so be it. At least I am, uh, you know, I am who I am. That's, uh... Remember when CJ flew across that island, Pro? He should be among the highlights on, uh, on your YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video one day, like, top 10 GTA playthrough fails. And that San Andreas part is gonna be on there. Peace to you. Did you watch that entire playthrough, by the way, Mario? Because there was a lot of glitches I encountered on that San Andreas playthrough, not just that part. There's a lot more other ones. Just be yourself, man. Uh, people are overly judgmental. Yeah, I know. 28,000 left to get. I'm gonna look at the chat in just one moment, guys. I'm just gonna drop, drop this passenger off here. I'm just really close right now. God okay, bless let's see you. here. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Trigger Happy. Um, uh, thank you, man. What uh wow largest super chat right today. Now. Thank you. What what currency is that? Uh is that if you mind me asking? It's the it is the largest super chat. I I don't know how much that is though, but it's uh No thank <laughs> thank you, thank you man. Thank you, Trigger Happy for the for the super chat. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Special shout out there to Tri Trigger Happy. Th thank you for the super chat. I do appreciate it, man. All right. Okay, let's get over here. Okay. I I just don't know what the currency type is, but he's uh, he did post one. Uh, one of the largest super chats on the stream. I don't know. I don't know if it's the largest one, but it's uh, it's one of the largest ones. Hey. Well, thank you, thank you, man. I do I do really appreciate it. Thank you. I always appreciate every super chat, but thank you, man. It just I I just know the red symbol is the um is the the bit. The big one. There's blue, and then there's green, and then there's red. Uh, but but thanks, man. Are you still are you still here? By the way, trigger happy. Uh, you still are you still here in the chat?
Then you had Ryder crashing into the... I, I remember that Ryder crashed. Yeah. Thank you, Anonymous, for the... Uh, thank you, Anonymous, for the, the super chat, too. Thanks, man. Okay, it's 12 bucks. Right uh, well, it's I, I still appreciate any amount always. So thank thank you though for the it's it, it you didn't have you didn't have to but I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank thank you to everyone who has super chatted. Thank you. I used to curse a bit more in some of my older videos, but I, you know, kind of got away from that. Keep up the amazing work on all amazing videos. So well, thank you. Oh, and you're a sponsor, also trigger happy. Well, well th thank you, and thank you, Ben Na uh, Ben Nation. Thank you, everybody who has super chatted uh, during the stream. I'm, so I'm sorry if I'm not responding right away. I'm just a little bit tired, exhausted. Uh, just, um, if I misread anything, uh, thank you, Le Lech, uh, five. thousand dollars left we're really close we're pretty much at the goal we're really close wait what was Revan I don't think I'm going to do taxi for a very long time after this. Is it profitable taxi? Oh no, not really, no. for you. Let me see here. Uh, okay.
Whoever just recommended the pros, Mr. Boss parody made my day a whole. Thank, thank you. Um, what are you eating after the stream? I don't know. I'm gonna probably want to cook something, something easy, because I don't want to put that much energy into cooking after after okay, the stream. Let's go. I'm exhausted. Twenty-two thousand left. Okay. Uh, lucky these aren't GTA 4 physics. Your car will be dead and not start back up or been smoking or fire by now. Yep, I know Jordan. GTA 4 physics were a bit more realistic though. That that, but thank you, and thank you, Lieutenant Touchdown, and thank you, Mifa Mifa Goras. This reminds me of an old Xbox game called The Simpsons Road Rage. Oh, well, it's uh, I think I remember that game. Okay, we are so close to the end now, guys. We're almost there. Yeah, it's a big water bottle, but it is. Uh, I'm not a tourist, so no long routes, yes? This taxi is like ruined. Taxis aren't supposed to drive in there, but okay. The single player, they won't take you in here. Uh. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. I would, I would want to play. I would want to play the Just Cause games one day again to. Uh, No, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm so close to the two fifty thousand. I'm gonna hit the two fifty thousand, and just do it. Um.
god, this is insane. It's, uh, it's about to hit six hours, but we're gonna do it. And I'm and I, if I ever see a taxi again after this, this I'm gonna freak out. Thank you. This stream today was also like I wanted to do a special stream today as like an apology for like my lore video getting delayed. Um, but that lore video is good because you guys have given me a few more days. It's gonna it's gonna be perfect when I do release it. Thousand. Okay. That's about eight fares left. Not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Okay. Would you consider the taxi mission fun? Um, it's uh, it is a um, it's different. It's unique. I will say that. But like you know, maybe a few fares here and there is fine. But like doing this for like hours, no, no. Has anybody beaten my record on, on here? Like, has anybody done more fares than me? 127 in a row? Yeah, I've been doing this for six hours, yeah. Hope I don't see another taxi ever, ever again after this. Like, yeah. But like, taxis are are a, are a dying like business. They really are in real life. Like, Uber has just Uber Uber and Lyft have taken over. Taxis are eventually going to become extinct. It's going to happen. Thank 
you. Thank you so much. New York is filled with taxis. Sure, New York is, but what other places are? Are there a lot? There are some certain cities, sure, that have taxis, but they're becoming less and less common. And I don't know if it was a good idea that New York City allowed Uber in um uh, in it. What about AI taxi? Oh no, screw that. I would I would never get into like a car that like drives on its own, no. I wouldn't trust that. No. You can't take it to the pay and spray while you're doing these missions. Okay, six more fares left. Got this one moment here. God bless you and thank you. How would you do your cosplays if oh well uh I don't I think I would really I don't right think now. I would really cosplay for that, uh though Mario. Thank you for the super chat, uh What's my favorite drink to get at the bar, pro? I, uh... I, uh, I don't go to the bars. I don't drink at all. There's no thank you, uh, Lieutenant Touchdown, but... I, uh... I, I, um... The most alcohol that I'll have is I'll have a glass of champagne or, or wine on, on New Year's. That's it, really. Thank you, Channel Miner, for subscribing. Morning from Brazil. Hello. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're so close. I should have jumped down earlier than this. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Touchdown again. Just came in. Stop on your GPS now. We're so close to the end.
Man, what a stream, right? About six hours. Thank you, Reconcile, for, um, for subscribing. Oh, well... If there's, like, you know, if there's clothing that, like, you know, you know, that... If, you know, if there's clothing that, like, both can wear, like, if it's, like, military clothing, you know, I can do that, no problem, but... Didn't you cosplay as Polina from Call of Vanguard? I did. You know, so you know if it's if it's something like you know, um, you know if it's if if it's like I'm not gonna you know cosplay in like feminine clothing. If it's like you know if it's some clothing that like you know both will wear, then I'll then I'll you know cosplay it. I did you know have Polina's like you know uniform in um uh, in Call of Vanguard, but that that was like a uniform that like you know both male and female Soviet snipers would wear. So it's um. Thank you, Edgy. Gracias. Almost there, we're there, almost there. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. What do we got? Two, two hundred forty-three thousand. We're so close. Okay. the end. Thank you. What the? Okay. Did I drive much in New York? I hated driving in New York. It's the traffic. It was just, it, it got annoying. Yeah. I didn't like driving in New York.
It's gonna be about three fares left. Next, you should do this in a public lobby. Yeah. Yeah, no thank you, dude. I wouldn't even last 10 fares. Thank you. In the, the taxi would get orbital cannoned. Thank you. you right now. Thank you, Zeo Wolf, for subscribing. Uh, any update on GTA P PC security? No, nothing, Quincy. Unfortunately, yeah. Let's get this chariot in motion. Don't fuck your mama in peace. What is with these NPCs just cursing me out? I just hear it all the time in the background, but it's. Thank you, Gussie, for this uh, uh, super chat. I feel like I'm witnessing history. This is God like the moon landing. Well, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, ne nearly six hours. I've got someone for you. Okay, here we go, guys. This is... I think this is the final one. No, no, we, we haven't hit the... Guys, we haven't hit the goal for everybody who's sitting, saying we hit the goal. We haven't hit it yet. One more fair. Because I have 249,000 really because I only got I got $2,000 from good behavior. So this is the this is the final one now. This is it What's the time at your place get some rest it's about 3 44 a.m. Feeling relieved now Pearl. Thank you uh, Sectastics. Um about to be. This is the final fair right now. Okay, sick. So you guys see two hundred forty-nine thousand five hundred forty-two dollars total earned. So this is the final one now. It's... Ah, this is it. up here. So close. Exhausted. Okay. Now 
There we go. Now we got it. Oh, man. Look at that. Total earned 251,135 fares. Oh, my God. Yeah. Drop on your GPS now. Oh, yeah. Let's quit this now. Yeah, we did it. Oh, man. We did it. Yeah. Favorite Elder Scrolls and Fallout YouTuber? Um. We got now. We, uh, it was that, uh, Oxhorn guy. I watched some of his lore videos. He does some good stuff on Fallout. Um, uh, there was the, um, Skyrim favorite for other Elder Scrolls YouTuber. I don't know if I have one. Um, thank you, Revan. Thank you, everyone, for your support. I, I do really appreciate it a lot. If you guys liked this, you know, just me going for $250,000 in the taxi, please drop a like. It does help content like this. It really does. Um... If you did enjoy the stream, though, please do drop a like. Um, but I, um, I, uh, I'm gonna do one final thing here, you know. One thing I gotta do with this taxi. Is that the only car you use? Yes, I didn't switch cars. I used the whole, the same car the entire time. Thank you, DNA, for the, um, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, T eight seven zero zero or R. Ow. Okay, there we go. That takes care of that. I don't want to see another taxi for a very long time. Uh, yeah. That was, oh, man. <clears throat> How are you? I hope it won't be too cold this weekend. No, I can see. Yeah. Oh, that's why, how I thought I'd end the stream. That. Oh. Oh, yeah. Streaming for six hours on taxis. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to... Well done, Pearl. Now go to sleep. Well, before I go to sleep, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna make some food. I have to eat something before I go to sleep, and then I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna try to go to sleep, and hopefully, I can fix my sleeping schedule. So I'm. Um, uh, thank you, everybody, for um. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, for uh, for watching the stream. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I am. I'm a bit exhausted, but um, thank you guys for um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy the stream, though, please do drop a like and uh. Tomorrow, um, uh, uh, tomorrow we'll be doing another stream tomorrow, if you want to come by. Tomorrow we'll be doing the saboteur, 100%. So we're not going to be doing everything in the saboteur one stream, but we'll do a lot of the activities for 100% for tomorrow. Um, it's one of my longest streams, yes. So, um, uh, thank you guys for, you know, everyone stopping by. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, do subscribe. Um, I make, I try to make a lot of content like this, and I have a great lore video coming out, Trevor, Brad, and lore coming out very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you guys if you guys enjoyed my stream, you know, drop a oh like, God, and I'll yeah. see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Sure, have a wonderful day, guys.